Hello everyone and welcome to the semi-final coverage of the Chessable uh, Masters which is part of the Multiwater Champion Chess Tour. We have the semi-final, uh, we have Armenia's finest Levon Aronian and uh, the finest player to turn out from Vietnam so far, Lee Kuan Liam in one of the semis and uh, the other semis is between Wesley So. Uh, I guess he's the number two American right now but it changes so fast that it's so hard to keep track. And uh, Vladislav Artemi, who defeated an American yesterday, Hikaru, and he's back for the semis. So that's the second semis. And uh, welcome, Gaty. Hello, hello. Um, hello, Sri, and chat. I was also thinking about uh, Wesley, so, uh, and I'm just saying that Aronin has uh, just 10 points more, and he just changed his federation, so... That's what you meant, right? Uh, yes. Or that's Fabiano. What I meant. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I okay. mean, yeah, Fabiano has been American for some time. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Aronian, if he changes his federation, I think he would become number two. And Wesley might be number three. Yeah. Strong team. Strong team. Stronger than ever. So, um, what, what do we have today? Uh, do we have any um, guests? how the match is going to go? Uh, we do have a guest joining us uh, uh -huh. in uh, a couple of hours or so, or maybe uh -huh. earlier. It will uh, it will be a surprise till uh, he or she joins. Mm -hmm. Generally, that's how I like to keep it here, um, just for fun. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, nice. yeah. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Um, all right. So, what are the predictions for the uh, for the game which we have here on the board? This is Aronian and Liam Liam Quanli Quanli. Yeah, oh, I, I I just pronounce it as uh, Lee Kuang Liam. Lee Kuang Liam. Uh, I'm I'm not I'm not sure if I'm doing it right though. But I think Lee Kuang does sound right. What's yeah. that? Lee Kuang Liam, and also we have Vesli So and Artemiev in the other match. So, um, hard to predict anything at this point. And I think the chances for all the players are quite high. Absolutely, absolutely. It's hard to predict. But uh, uh, Artemi has had a very tough match against Hikaru yesterday. So, I think uh, it will be a bit of challenge for him to maintain his energy in his uh, game mm -hmm. match against Wesley So today. So, I think uh, Wesley is a slight favourite against Artemi. And uh, in the matchup between Levon against Lee Kuang, it again, uh, two very, very strong chess players. But Levon has been in red hot form recently. He just blazed through the field in uh, the uh, chess, sorry, in the gold money Asian rapid last uh, month, beating Arjun and then beating Magnus and Artemi very convincingly. Yeah. So I think, uh, I think Aronian is. Uh, Aronian and Wesley so slight starters, slight favorites. What do you, what do you think? Mm -hmm. um, I was really impressed by the games of uh, Le Quang Lim. Uh, he showed such a such a good preparation against um, Jordan Van Forest. I I think Aronian is absolute favorite here because all this. Uh, also, the rating, he has about 80 points more, uh, and he is the winner of many events. Um, uh, but now it matters who is well prepared and who feels in a good shape in this match. And about Wesley So and Artemiev, um, mm, this is also a bit tricky. This is also a bit tricky, and I think the chances there are 50 50. Can be anything can happen. There is also vastly so a big favorite there um, by the rating. And when I'm saying big favorite, there's only 70 point difference. But at this level, I think this 70 point is not easy to get. When you're a 27 guy, you, you cannot get rating so easily, right? Well, you know, I'm also a 27 guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm 27 years old, though. Just, just a bit short by rating. <laughs> Yeah, just a bit short. 
Um, so what about the positions? What I have here, the double points in the center, I like these double points, they control the central squares and also the rook has open files. So now we had rook f1 and um, just pressing on f7, uh, but black just found the resource and it was not so hard to find this resource and it was bishop on e6 just to um, decrease the tension on f7 and maybe he's going to long castle? Uh, it's actually a very interesting uh, thing what Lee Kuang did yeah, with his h6 and g5 and uh, right now it's it's usually Aronian who plays like this against the Italian mm -hmm. but having said that it looks like Aronian has managed to successfully prevent black from uh, getting any open files against the white king and a uh, uh, good question if he's going to castle long or not yeah. I think uh, if he has to castle, he's probably going to castle long because castling short doesn't uh, really feel uh, safe. But on the other hand, if he uh, um, yeah, on the other hand, uh, if he doesn't have to castle, then maybe he just doesn't need to move his king anywhere. Maybe he can uh, do something else. So. I think I think this is the situation right now, but I really I really like uh, how Black has played. Meanwhile, uh, the update uh, from the World Cup, Jan Christoph Duda has won the World Cup by defeating Sergei Karyakin very convincingly. So a big shout out to Jan Christoph Duda, and uh, wow, think... that's good. That's good. I would say something in Polish. I have some more Polish book. Uh, Pastrov, yeah, I think it's congratulations. Can you say something like uh, Duda Polska Guru? <laughs> it's quite common, <laughs> quite common term. Yeah, what he's amazing. Mean, he's in a great shape. That's that's called cool. that's called cool. He's so close to win the uh, one of the strongest events and one of the hardest events. Like it's it's something like if you uh, sleep a bit, you might not have it have a second chance at least third chance you will not have third chance for sure <laughs> unlike the yes. um unlike the open tournaments like for example candidates tournament is well it's not open but i mean there is there is many rounds and you you might lose uh but still have a chance to come back so the knockout system is uh quite quite hard and here we also have at this tournament knockout system uh and any any point really matters here like i'm sure the, the the players will try to play more stable than risky mm -hmm. at this stage true 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 exactly it's it's i think very similar to what duda said yesterday about making a draw with black you know he was like mm -hmm. in knockout you just don't lose and with black you have like more chances to lose so it's better that uh, yeah uh, he doesn't lose and uh, what do, what does that mean, by the way? What, what do I just explain now? Po Polska Gurum? Yeah. Um, I don't really understand, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but it means something like... Um, yeah, no. I'm, I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask because I, I don't really remember it. what does it mean. Just, I will ask and the moment I, I know about it, I'll just tell you. I really don't think you're going to get uh, Polish citizenship all that easily. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, uh, we had a poll on our channel of which match do we have a look at first. And uh, they chose uh, Wesley Artemi by a very big margin. So... Um, yeah, I don't see any, anything in the chat. I see only Anshika Anand wrote the first comment and then it stopped. Oh no, there is there is chat actually. Really? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I think maybe you need to refresh. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of chat. Oh wow! Oh, <laughs> hi chat. Okay, okay. I see now everything. As always, we have a drama queen uh, Ishan, mm -hmm. and uh, all the. Usual suspects, Ruki and Anshika and Sente, the regulars of our channel. Very good, very good. 
So what about this position? Seems like White is going to delay the castle. Um, yes, again, reminds me of my uh, good old friend, Kevin. Um, so first question, um, what is the material balance in this position? Material bonds? Ah, oh, white has an extra pawn. Yes, white has an extra pawn. Cool. We noticed that. I think you, you already uh, do it better than Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't see the pawn. I didn't see the pawn was extra. I really didn't expect the pawn would be extra. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I really think that black has here good play. Like their knight comes on b3, um, then bishop might find some nice place. Bishop, yeah, g4, for instance, and then rooks can connect. Mm -hmm. And what's the white's plan here? White's first plan is to um, castle and maybe just to trade some some of the pieces. That can yeah, be um, true. White is a pawn up and uh, in return, black has superior development. White still hasn't uh, completed his castle and hasn't brought out all the pieces. But on the other hand, um, I think this also makes things very clear for both the sides. Yeah, For White, uh, it's very simple. He has to just try and castle as soon as possible. And uh, Black has to try and find something in the next two or three moves. He has to really uh, hurry and uh, try and pose some concrete problems. So how would you do that? For example, what if I just play something like bishop e2, then how do you... Uh, oh, he goes queen b4. I wasn't quite expecting this move queen b4, but I guess it's some kind of a preparation against knight b3. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah, he wants to have this queen on b4, just in case if black plays bishop d7 or he attacks this pawn somehow, just to have the uh, queen on so, b4. But on the other hand, this is also another move delay. At, of the castle so yes exactly exactly it's also another move delayed from castle and uh, i was really expecting white to go something like bishop e2 and rook d1 and castle first get the knight onto d4 uh, i didn't see what was quite wrong uh, with that but uh, yeah um Queen B4 has been played on the board, and uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what Wesley was uncomfortable with in case of uh, Bishop E2. Right. Yeah, I just missed. Uh, uh, I just missed everything at the beginning. So uh, <laughs> there's a comment that I missed the greetings from the chat. So hello everyone. Oh, yes. Now I'm here. I will not miss anything anymore. That's it. That's a that's an unforgivable thing, Katie. I think you really have to give the chat back something. <laughs> what is chat asking? I can do story about AD. What AD? Oh, sorry, a story about, yeah. about AD. <laughs> okay. I will think. I will think. I need to think <laughs> of a story about AD. Chat yeah. will be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe some photos. Wow, wow. I think we should reserve it for a bigger crime. <laughs> yeah. That is if you uh, by chance block someone in the chat or something. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, he asked me to find to to look for one photo. And uh, I think if I'm going to start to look for that photo, I will see more photos. So yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Let's let's keep it prepared. Yeah, let's keep okay. it prepared. Okay. So how about bishop e2 here? What, uh, what is Black's idea? Knight b3? Uh, yeah, knight b3 is my initial uh, instinctive reaction. And uh, now where do you go? You can go to b1 or d1? If you go to b1, then quick comes on g6 and it attacks d. Ah, um, but you can castle here, I guess. And... Uh, I am not entirely sure, but there is G2 pawn. Like something like yeah. Bishop H3, yes. Yeah. yeah, this is the reason why Wesley went Rook D1 instead. I mean, Rook B1, uh, Queen G6 is one move. Another move is Bishop F5, neither of which look good for white. So Rook, instead he goes Rook D1. And uh, after Rook into D1, Bishop into D1, 
now um, Wesley just wants to castle shot in the next move. So Black has only one more move in order to try and create a threat. But I think one move is all he requires because let's say he goes Bishop D7. Now, um, yeah, the pawn on B5 is attacked. And uh, what do you do? How do you defend? Mm. Maybe just a capture the knight on B3. Yes, if you capture the knight on B3, then I take back. Yeah. And uh, now you have two choices. Yeah, you can either take knight D4. Or... Exactly. With knight D4, you defend this mm -hmm. and you also attack this. But on the other hand, uh, I think as black, I have moves like queen A5. As black, I'm hoping to take these two pawns in exchange for losing only this pawn. I just realized that you didn't ask me. <laughs> you wanted to explain <laughs> 9d4. <laughs> well, I just uh, it. <laughs> it's, it's one of those multi-purpose things, you know, like uh, trolling AD. <laughs> We want to entertain people, but we also just want to troll AD. It's, it's fun by itself. <laughs> yeah. So queen a5, you want to play this one. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think yeah. there's a sufficient counterplay for uh, black. And uh, yeah, the drama queen on the chat goes like uh, mm -hmm. capturing on b3 is a sin. b3 is a pure square. <laughs> He still hasn't sent me those clips, by the way. What clips? Uh, he He's supposed to send me some clips. And I think he just completely forgot about this. Uh -huh. Is Dr a drama queen the one who creates the uh, clips? No, no, no. There's another person for that. Uh -huh, uh, okay. That is actually a nice person who doesn't play a lot of 1v3. <laughs> nice person. <laughs> All right. Actually, we are we're like having this position after bishop d7. Is there something else that white can do? For instance, bishop e2. Uh, you mean apart from bishop e2? <laughs> I, I, we we were looking for bishop b3. <laughs> yeah, we were looking at bishop b3. Yeah. But instead, uh, bishop e2 is the other move. Yeah. Yeah. True. True. And uh, here I was looking at uh, what was I looking at? I was looking at the chat. Yeah. <laughs> you were looking at the phone. <laughs> I was looking at uh, the renaming of Drama Queen. Sorry, uh, renaming of Cha Cha as Drama Queen. I don't know. Here it feels like black should have something, but uh, what exactly? I'm not entirely sure. But I think I think we should uh, maybe take a pass here and uh, you know conclude that it's about equal. So bishop e2 also maybe I can play queen a5. You know uh, the same idea to mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. get this b pawn, which has yeah, been see the pawn. Sometimes it's not important, as Kevin. Kevin would like to say. <laughs> no, I mean, the B pawn is not important, true. I mean, <laughs> if you had to give up one of the pawns in chess, uh, it has to be the B pawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, the game between Levon and Lee Kwang, it has actually uh, heated up quite a bit. Levon uh, sacrificed this exchange just as we were moving from uh, this game to the Wesley So game on uh, the public demand. It was actually at this point that we moved. He played rook f5, attacking this pawn. And if black takes bishop into f5, then after e into f5, this knight had to has to go to h8, which is actually a sad and a pathetic situation for the knight. Mm -hmm. And uh, the knight can never get out because this uh, diagonal is also pinned. So it's not like black can play f6 and knight f7 and uh, retrieve sure. it either. So uh, rook f5 and black did not take it. Black was like, you know, this is the forbidden fruit. I'm not going to take the rook. It is like the b3 course. So even if you give it to me for free, <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> so king g7, bishop into e6, queen into e6, and now uh, queen f2. Again, White does not take this pawn on h5, yeah? So why do you think he's not taking this pawn on h5? Because I didn't figure this out. That's 
That's uh, suspicious to me. I would take it. Oh, 97? Maybe? Yeah, I think 97 is a point. 97 and uh, rook h8 and f6. Uh, this h4 pawn, I think, uh, will be won back by black sooner or later. Mm -hmm. But in general, if he, you know, even if he gets this position with f6, this rook is totally out of play. Yeah. But uh, I think Aronian, of course, he saw this and he felt that the control over the f file is more important. Rook f1 and rook f6. So queen f2, f6, rook f1, knight e7. And now he takes this pawn anyway. It's a very similar position to what we have. After queen f7, you would think that this rook would be trapped. But, 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 Arunan had other intentions. He just gives up the rook for the knight. And uh, we have this position on the board right now. Queen into g4 check, king f8, and now queen f3. Uh, materially, white is down by an exchange, but he gets compensation in the form of initiative against black's king. Which color um, would you pick here? And also the same question goes to chat. Like um, for now, I think it's equal by the uh, by the evolution of the engines. Um, mm -hmm. But which which side would you prefer to uh, to play? To have an extra exchange for uh, for any pawns for one pawn. Um, or to be exchanged down and to play against the exposed king. Let's see who's ma materialistic here in our chat. <laughs> yeah, I think before I answer, I'll let the chat answer this question. Mm -hmm. So we have a clear picture. Meanwhile, oh, uh, myself. Oh, sorry, what happened? Yeah, I, I, I just voted myself and it's 50 50. Oh, let's. Let's try and find out which color you voted for. Ah, no, but I know this already. It's not even a question. What would I call uh, color? I would color I just. Uh, I'll tell you. Meanwhile, uh, we had 79 votes for the last poll between Wesley and uh, Artemi or Aroni and Lee Kwan. So let's at least get those likes past 50, you know. So there's some equitable measure and more people come in, join and uh, vote, uh, make votes in the polls. We all make fun of AD together, all these things. But let's get in more people that starts with more likes and <laughs> subscribe if you haven't. Yeah, exactly. Ricky says that I, I, I can lose with both colors with white and with black. <laughs> but <laughs> the, the question is what, uh, what you like the most. I think, I can I say it? Ah oh, yeah, sure. I think I think black is fine here. Oh, you voted for black, really? Yeah. I did not expect that. You didn't know me. <laughs> I know. I think, like, you think you know a person, but you actually don't, and I think this exactly. proves that. Because exactly. I thought. Exactly. Because I thought you would go for the. Uh, side which has more initiative more chances against black skin in my head uh, you had this image of the person who wants to go for checkmate at any cost oh no 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 not always yes <laughs> not always so um why i pick here black is that i don't see the precise way how white is going to attack the king so far mm. and i see the way that i see that the whole queen side is clean and clear <laughs> the, the the road is clear for the pawns and we have b5 and these pawns are just rolling and uh, white has to find a plan here what has to plan uh h pawn is not that dangerous because the rook is there and king is there um yeah so if if white cannot find here any any plan, then if the pawn gets on the third rank, that's going to be already dangerous. Like in two moves. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I wish I had access to Photoshop on the chessboard, you know. I'd be drawing all kinds of things, like how the hedge pawn is a... Uh, uh, it's like, I don't know, how do you, what do you equate it with? A battering ram and... Uh -huh. uh, the rook is some kind of a wall which prevents the hedge pawn from weaning. 
you uh, think the age one this... will win no no i mean i'm just i'm just picturizing uh <laughs> chess stuff outside of chess you know and uh, three i think dumb multitasking <laughs> men are got not good at multitasking don't do it <laughs> I don't know right. if Chad agrees with that or not, but I think it's sort of fact. Okay, Ooh, he's... Maybe Chad has a different opinion. Oh, look at this move, D4. Such a nice move. Yeah. What do you think he's intending after he into D4? It's Just to take the ace to seven pawn, I think. I think oh, he wants to we're, bishop we're tra- Yeah, we're trading the... Oh, no, nice. You, yeah, this was his idea. And now the idea is bishop at six check, queen h5 check. That answers your question, Katie. How does white get to black's king? And uh, this is the way. It's not. But why uh, he needed d4? I don't really care. Ah, bishop pawn was on e5. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. So d4, ed, bishop f4, and uh, now bishop at six check incoming. Okay, let's not be so dramatic. After all, G2 pawn is also hanging. Is a checkmate there. Is that your life motto to Ishan? Let's not be so dramatic. <laughs> Do you think we should send him merchandise and uh, t-shirts and caps? <laughs> <laughs> I think Ishan's wardrobe should be filled with, you know, t-shirts and caps. Let's yeah. not be so dramatic. Sl- iPhone KT 2021. <laughs> yeah i have i have a little note so, um with me and every day not every day when i have some difficulties i'm always writing down these things and then i'm reading it and it helps me to be more um dramatic <laughs> true. that's true <laughs> <laughs> um no, they are very, very positive messages to myself. So it's not dramatic. I can't find it to show. But... Uh, while you find it, I want to show chat a very, very interesting variation. See, uh, rook d1. Mm-hmm. Now this allows rook into g2 check. Mm-hmm. So white cannot take this because queen into d1 is coming. So you have to move the king away. You move the king to h1. And now the king, white is like, aha, uh, I moved away. Two of your pieces are hanging. What are you going to do? And uh, now black has, I think, uh, a few different moves. But one of the ideas which I really liked, I'm not sure if it's working, but I continue to follow the king. I'm like, you know, you're not going to get away from me. So rook h2 check. The king has had enough because if he goes to g1, then queen f2 check is coming. So white does take the rook bishop into h2. And now I play e2. Wow. Forcing you are not even this. stopping to ask the chat because you know that I will be shouting, right? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't expect chat to find such a complex. This is comment. so nice. This is so nice. And now queen check. And uh, king g2, queen into d2. And I think black is doing well here. Chat is actually already going, uh, even without asking. I think that's the uh, that's the mark of a good chat. You know, they know that they know that you are here, and they know that they're not going to get much time or chance. Mm-hmm. They are ready with uh, their finger on the keyboard, and they are yeah. yeah 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 ready. They have one finger on the alphabets and one on the enter <laughs> button. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do like this, Chad. Let's do like this. But I think I have uh, a bit of advantage because uh, I think it's a delay. Oh, we have Rook G2. We have Rook G2 and Rook H2. Wow, this is really nice. Reuse, just body this. Um, thank you, thank you. And wow, that's amazing. Yes, uh, this was uh, nice. Uh, Neeranjit, I mean... <laughs> The thing is, I see only Ishan in the chat and uh, that leads my impression of the chat, you know. So I see more moves from you guys. Maybe my mind will change. <laughs> I mean, Ishan is the kind of person who would play B4 here and after looking to D2, B3. And, and cry like, Yeah. 
<laughs> then he'll start crying when his open beats him like this. We have this on the board. No way. No way he could play King G1. But instead of this, here Ronin goes with Bishop takes H2. What he is really hoping for? No, the problem is uh, King G1 is queen of two check. Yeah. And uh, it's anyway. Uh huh. It's not saving either. I so think he... this goes into a draw and then uh, queen check. King, uh, no, 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 Rook, bishop g1. Bishop, bishop, bishop g1, g1 yeah. is important, yeah. And uh, queen into d2, bishop c5 check. And in the end, uh, they just give a, a perpetual check and a draw. That was actually uh, that was actually a lot of fun, yeah, this game. It ended yeah. in a draw, but it was actually a very, very interesting game. True. Can I can I keep the king on the queen side, like king e8? Yes, no, and now queen h5 check. And uh, chat, what happens after king d8? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, we have some pretty strong players in the chat right now. I think we're okay, nice queen h5 check and uh, matic net. So. They, they are trying to answer faster than, than, than me. Yeah, 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 they're trying to answer faster than the question yeah. uh, was asked. Exactly. So King D8, how does white? Ishan Bandekar, uh, the good version of Ishan, has found the move. Queen H8, checkmate. And it is checkmate because D7 is covered by the C6 pawn. E7 is covered by the king. So, Nairanjit, Vini Munjal, Chris Keynes, shout out to all of you guys. And uh, right. so black goes king g7, the other way, queen g4, king h8. And now after queen h5, king g8, queen g6, king h8, queen into f6, king h7, something like this will happen. And now mm -hmm. Aronian will take a pass. He will think whether he can find a way to continue the game mm -hmm. or should he just make a draw. These things, these kind of situations are very, very comfortable in life, you know, when you can. Mm -hmm. You can make a choice and you have something in the reserve. Like again, you know, jumping, jumping with a safety net. And uh, yeah, I think this is a very, very comfortable situation to be in. <laughs> See, there he starts again. <laughs> there he starts again. I think we have to have red card for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah literally gonna cry now <laughs> send pictures Ishan we don't trust you we need to see that yes it's just the words How how mean we have become on chest 24. I think it's AD's effect, yeah? The bullying. <laughs> it's rubbing off on us. Yeah, we're practicing to get stronger because he will come today as well. Yeah, he comes every day, true. So now let's say I continue with Queen E6 check. Yeah. King how do you H7. Defend? Yeah, and now I want to play Queen E7 check. King goes on G8. Yeah, you have to really do this, yeah. Because chat, what happens if black goes king h6? What if, what if white? Uh, sorry, what if she did not go king g8? Like, why do you think she chose king g8? Why not king h6? <laughs> yeah, it's also interesting because I just, you know, I uh, checked with the engine, and. Uh, um, the engine was showing something quite different from the variations that we were discussing and what happened in the game. So in that sense, if we were commentating by just following the first line of engine, I think we'd be so, so, so off from what happened in the game. Are you crying when you're writing the letter to Chess24 or uh, yes, not? Yes, <laughs> Ishan, don't do that because then the ink will get uh, rubbed off. Maybe you should stop crying first and then write the letter. <laughs> Wait, what, what yes. engine says it, it says that it's draw uh, now the engine says it's draw but I'll tell you the point where uh, we I deviated from the engine 
So king h6, bishop d3 check. This is correct. And uh, this wins the queen. So shout out to uh, Chris Kane, Saugata, Vini Munjal, and uh, Bondita, Anshika. Yeah, so meanwhile, we do have a draw between Wesley Su and Arte Mave. That's a very quick finish to the first round of the game. I'm totally not complaining about that. Um, happy to mm-hmm. get a good night's sleep, which I haven't had in a really long time. <laughs> mm, meanwhile, uh, yes, uh, I think this game is going to end in repetition. So while we wait for the players to move, I'll show you the point where... Uh, Ha, so it was basically this point when uh, White played Rook D1 and I immediately saw this Rook into G2. But here the computer showed a mild advantage after Queen F2 takes takes. And it says this is better for Black. But uh, to be honest, it was, uh, I think, a lot more likely that Black played Rook into G2. Because in this end position, it seems like Black has a lot more of the things under control. Whereas here... Uh, bishop into c7 is incoming. Humans cannot calculate like stockfish. Rook d7 is incoming. And it's really hard to see further than this. So usually we, people stop here and they take the other option because something like rook g4, bishop into c7, rook c4 allows uh, bishop d6 check and c7. And uh, in general, I think black would prefer not to allow something like this. Mm. Sure. So, um, yeah, I have to show this yellow card. I don't know if it's visible or not. So, uh, is that for Ishan? <laughs> yes, because it's so much of a uh, broken heart. And here is the not very beautiful heart, but wow. still is the heart for you wow. from our drama queen. I will not do it again. <laughs> I'll be on your this side. This is nice. This is nice. Drama queens together. Yes. More, more content for us. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So it's going to be also draw, right? We don't have anything, any magic here. So yes, two I think draws it also at the beginning. Going to be draw. All right, all right. So do you know what does it mean? So we will go to the tie break. Oh, no tie breaks today. Today is no tie breaks. Uh-huh. Yes, today is no tie break day. It's a good day. Uh, today is Thursday, and uh, in Big Bang, we have this series called uh, Anything Can Happen Thursday. Mm. It used to be a thing. Um, but I think uh, today it seems like only draw is going to happen. It doesn't seem like anything is going to happen. All right, the heart is completed. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's not really clear if you're warning Ishan or uh, comforting him. <laughs> ha, you sent a pink heart too. Okay, so this is the this is the way it gets done. Yeah, you you troll people and then you send them hearts so they feel better and are ready for the next set of trolling. So I'll learning from the best. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't think they will try coming. here more. Like, Aronian would not really try too hard here. Yeah, I think, no, he's just going to repeat it because, uh, of course, people might uh, wonder if, you know, why not uh, play something like bishop d4 here, try and threaten uh, checkmate. But mm-hmm. one thing is, uh, if you make one move, then already black starts giving you checks. So you don't really have this option of trying to play for a win. Uh, so first of all, why would you give that option to the black? Why not take it on your own terms? And uh, secondly, apart from this, there is really no other way for white to keep the uh, motion going unless he keeps giving checks. Yeah. We both sent. Uh, yeah, I think we really China. made him cry, but you know, happy cry. Not maybe yes, not maybe sad yes. cry. Maybe hard, happy crying. Yeah. Until we do the next capture on B three. Sixty-eight percent of the chat voted as uh, white. Um, pretty interesting. 
pretty interesting 58% uh, with the sorry 68% with the white pieces but uh, as you pointed out i want to what is uh, lee kwang thinking about here though in the live question this is the maybe he wants to go king g8 yeah as he pointed out there is a slight difference with uh, aronian check, checking pattern so first he gave a check on f6 and uh, oh, okay so black went king x7 and he went queen e7 check also it's safer to wait he went king h8 yeah yeah he went king h8 now queen e5 check this is the present position king g8 would you play bishop d4 now um yeah i think i would i would play myself something like this and i would lose the game uh, but this is uh, so hard to imagine this is losing because the brook over there oh he played bishop d4 really oh wow yeah 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 he played bishop d4 nice by the way we have a few things in common between i mean you would think that uh, levon from armenia and lee kwang from vietnam would be so far apart that they have nothing in common but they do have a few things in common firstly the two letters starting letters of their names le and lev uh, i mean l e uh, secondly lee kwang is the current head coach of uh, the university team in webster which is in st louis and mm-hmm. aronian is set to move to st louis so in effect they are also from going to be a uh, city mates in the near future oh wow so um so well, uh, liam is living now in usa or he's back in vietnam i think he's living in usa but i'm not sure sure aha uh-huh. okay uh, but yeah i mean if he's and they the, both the have coach, glasses it's also something <laughs> true 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 they both have glasses they both 2700s and uh, no not the same color of the shirt but the same shade of hair hair yeah that counts. i've never seen levon with the glasses though oh really hmm. i think he wears glasses uh, quite a lot hmm yeah i've not seen him but yeah uh bishop d4 how do you how do you defend chat uh let's start checks right queen d1 yeah king h2 queen d2 king h3 queen d3 king g4 queen d1 king g5 oh 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 i know where it's going <laughs> queen d2 <laughs> queen d2 and now i have to find a way to shield myself from the checks how do i do this you can hide on f no f6 queen d1 yeah actually i think this is a problem for queen white d2. but uh, you know aronian is probably going to go till this point and then uh, if oh he goes queen h6 lee kong just goes queen h6 he prefers not to give this pattern of checks mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Makes, makes sense and uh, if i start with queen d5 check now uh king, king h eight. king h7 is impossible because queen f7 yes yeah so king has to come on f8 yeah um queen d5 check yeah queen g3 check and now king f8 sorry he played queen g3 check he didn't go queen d5 uh, aronian is the one with less than a minute though Uh, when was the last time we saw that happen yeah bishop c5 king f7 and now queen b3 check yeah that's right oh. so king king f6 is really bad he has to go how the queen got got on f on c7 so fast uh, he gave a check like black went king f7 queen into c7 check ah not queen b3 okay and now king g8 maybe queen g3 check back these guys don't want to draw they want to try and continue the game somehow in whichever way they can yeah 
they're playing really careful. Like they are playing still, but they are making really smart moves. Like not to show. But how do you make a draw with white now? Because queen c seven check, I can cover with queen g seven. Chat, do you still prefer white here? At this point, do you still prefer white? We had one hundred and seventeen votes on uh, the previous poll. So, guys, if there are so many of you here, then at least do get those likes past hundred. So, again, you know, more people can come in and watch us bully uh, all the different uh, people who deserve to be bullied for playing one v three. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't. <laughs> F six is the move. Okay, I get the point. This is uh, okay. So queen f six, queen d three check, and now you just give checks and make a draw. What are you laughing at, uh, Katie? Like how uh, how important? Like this this sentence is like a, like an air for the channel, like to breathe. <laughs> it exists. Like <laughs> it's something mandatory. Like you cannot really, <laughs> you cannot live without air. So. Well, we cannot live without the truth. That is true. True. So, you guys, please, if there is anyone who has not liked the channel yet, just um, write in the comments. Then we will fully, we will force you to do it. <laughs> oh, I I was well, hoping that you. this wouldn't happen to us. I was hoping that we wouldn't become eighty. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's not become him. Seems like we're uh, too young for that. These doesn't anyone. Ha. Huh, true. Well, at, at least, least you are young. <laughs> you are younger. Mentally, younger than you know? AD? Ha, huh, no, but I think you're also younger than AD mentally. <laughs> you look yeah. young. You sound young. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what do you think about this? I don't like this rook on G8. Like... Some more moves and black will start to uh, start to make checks. Uh, you black will start to make checks. I mean, now the rook is also on G file, so the king is cut it from G file, and queen cannot really leave this uh, a king alone. And yes, but uh, there should be some perpetual, no? If you want, yeah. To. Queen G four, Queen E four. Because whenever you play F seven, I give Queen into. Yeah, that, that's check that's, that's exactly like if Black here finds the way. This is drawn, no. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Oh, maybe I can do it. Maybe I can do it and be a pawn up. Huh. Oh no 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 queen queen takes queen yeah sorry I you were serious on. about this <laughs> let's let's pretend that I was joking <laughs> let's pretend that I was joking. oh man <laughs> she was thinking that f takes g is the move that uh, black should be worried of when he was yeah. wandering the queen. Nice, nice. Oh, something really fun is happening to the other game. Can we really quickly go there? I did not want to, but since you asked so sweetly. <laughs> so, like, what? G4, G5? Yes, but I, I really want to establish that it was first move knight of three and B3 only on the second move. So, no, this is not one B3. <laughs> Okay, now I understand why you didn't want to get there. The other game has finished and it was drawn. Mm -hmm. They repeat it. And here we had g4 and g5 and Black didn't really bother himself to stop this move. And to get the knight on backwards. Wow. Ishan is getting his revenge. He's like... Uh... <laughs> Clip done. I'm making the shot first. <laughs> Shots fired, Ishan. Shots fired.
Yes, it's the same setup of one B three guys. It's not the setup of one B three. It's the setup of one knight F three. Actually, it's OG's knight F three. You know, it's like uh, I mean, how do you say it? Uh, it's like humans evolved from chimpanzee, yeah. And uh, you look at a uh, you look at a chimp and say, oh, that looks similar to a human. It came from a human. Oh wait, no, no, no. That's not correct. That's not correct. No. Then that makes B three a human and knight F three a chimpanzee. Oh my god what have i done It's a bad example Let's strike that off let's uh, let's remove from this uh, broadcast Yeah i think you need uh, you need to help one one uh, knight of 3 is 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 uh, ready we call it ready uh, mm-hmm. and here we have the ready position not the typical one it's kind of sideline uh and nowadays people are just uh, you know confused with many lines and <laughs> you just play this misguided yeah but the, the the thing is like i really like this g4 g5 um but it also like um weakens the light squares right um i think it doesn't quite matter for the moment because white mm-hmm. still has the you know option of castling long so mm-hmm. for now what white has achieved is he has ensured that these pieces are stay there and this bishop is quite uncomfortable so yeah you know what's is... my point to play with black here it's it's quite hard to develop the king side but to play e6 97 and knight a5 to uh develop the king side and guard g7 pawn yeah and put them on this light squares which yeah. have been exposed by Yeah. Yes, true. But the problem is, uh, this operation it takes time, yeah. And meanwhile, it allows white to try and build some pressure on some other part of the board, while black takes three moves for e six, knight e seven, knight f five. This gives the uh, white a uh, chance to, uh, yeah, build something in uh, some other place. so h6 and uh, now um uh, now how do we uh, do things how do we continue i think you have to go rook g1 yeah try and uh, recapture and maintain this or maybe you just ignore it but yeah, the problem is what's the threat here uh me i thought bishop into f3 and hg was happening so he played c4 and my initial worry was if something like this but the rook is guarded by the bishop so right. maybe this is not a bad thing for white uh this can be a threat if you somehow manage to like if you play e5 e6 sorry or you take first on c4 and then you play e6 like g5 pawn might be hanging after all Yeah, like something like this. Yeah, but no. E six first. E six. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see yeah. what you're saying. G five pawn is hanging. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Wesley went here e six immediately without uh, giving up the control on the, in the center, and now after e six, the G five pawn will be hanging uh, in the end. So can we do like rook G one? Yeah, yes. You can. and now i think it makes sense to capture the g5 pawn first and then to play um then to play knight e7 knight e5 or the other idea can be uh, also f6 although i'm a bit uh, skeptical about that move yeah i i think uh um I think f6 is not such a great idea in uh, this position. Knight is on knight f5 like a bit more. Uh, the priority should be the development of the pieces, I guess. Meanwhile, I am hearing that uh, the Catalan wars on my Discord channel is uh, has been wrapped up. um but i um 
I'm not uh, sure who is the winner yet. What happened? I had this event called Catalan Wars in my Discord. Uh-huh. And uh, it was a tournament where uh, you had to play the Catalan opening in the first moves. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I know. I know, right? It's so cool. It's so cool. Can a tournament be any better? <laughs> I-, I could come as a Catalan player. I know. I know. <laughs> that's why they didn't tell you. They didn't want you to destroy everyone. <laughs> And uh, oh, you know man. the first place, the winner of the first place, uh, they get my uh, Catalan uh, lifetime repeater. Oh wow! So, I think I think you should have played. It yeah, have if been worth if it. if Asian let me know, uh, next time I'll come and I'll come and play. Yes, but from my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure Shan is inviting you after how you troll them today. No, we're fine. I think we're fine. I really don't think so. We'll see. We'll see. Meanwhile, uh, it looks like Aronian has managed to uh, steer clear. Sorry, not Aronian. Wesley so has managed to steer clear of trouble and uh, right. seems to be having uh, uh, seems to have neutralized uh, Black's uh, Sorry, White's B3 initiator. Exactly. We have in the chat uh, Maria Kevorgian, who's saying hello and uh, greetings to you, Maria. And she's, uh, she is a supporter of Levon Oronian, of course. Um, and uh, let's, uh, yeah, I don't know if, uh, what are her um, predictions? how it will be this score, but I'm sure that her predictions goes like uh, to 11. Yes, 100%. yes, yes. I can totally imagine that. Yeah. Uh, Maria is your uh, streaming partner in your uh, Twitch channel, Let's Chess Live, yeah? Exactly, yeah. Is it like Let's Chess Live or Let's Chess Live? Because is it if like you say let's blunder chess... now or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean if you if you say let chess live, then that's almost like anti B three yes, because <laughs> uh, that's bad for chess. <laughs> let's just love. <laughs> <laughs> it's let's just live. Actually, our, our initial idea was let's chess. But it was taken, so we, we, we added live in the end. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. That's how creative we are. Well, as long as it doesn't have the word B in it, I think it's a good name. <laughs> B or AD together, right? The combination. Oh, yes. If you When you add B to AD, we know the result of it. And it is a three-letter word. Oh, that explains one B3 in short. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god no you, you guys understood what he meant and this is a good point oh no of oh, course no. and the people who are watching right now already know uh, what my next youtube short is <laughs> <laughs> they are smart they are smart <laughs> of course they are smart <laughs> okay Maria doesn't understand what's the story so this is the story that um, there is a combination of letters B which stands for B3 and um, AD which stands for Adiban and you can you know play a little bit with these um, letters and <laughs> then you get the word yeah yes B is also the initial of AD so yeah. It it all fits in perfectly. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I discovered that today. Nice. That's nice. Yeah. Arteme was playing like Nihal Sarin. Uh, he's spending uh, like two thirds of his time within the first 10 moves. You see, you understand why I get so much time to watch movies and TV shows and everything now, yes? 
if you if you want to do the same you can also coach nihal and uh, mm, that's you will never that might be a bit not... uh, hard for me <laughs> <laughs> you will you will never complain of not having time in life if you are the coach of nihal because you get unlimited time just by the time he takes for his moves i have some stories about nihal as well oh let's hear them <laughs> i have some nice stories yeah yeah i also have a lot of nice stories but uh, if i start uh, if i start narrating them on the broadcast i really don't think i'll live for a long time <laughs> nihal i'm truly afraid really yes nihal divya and uh, these kids they 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 are like cat and i'm like a mouse <laughs> All right. <laughs> I see. I see. So what's happening in this position? Ninety four is played. He wants to get rid of the light square bishops. Maybe at some point, if the if the bishops are off the board, he wants to push g six just to ruin the king structure. And then with this yeah. typical idea, ninety six. Um, yes, but the question is, uh, why has he given up this pawn? Yeah, what does he have yeah. against the pawn? Yeah. Uh but how about queen b5 can I do that? Um I take the rook. Mm-hmm. I'll take that rook. Take and rook. now queen b7 I guess. I mean so much effort to take this b pawn really. <laughs> I have six. Um Yeah, it was not a good idea. Queen d5 was better idea, I think. Yes, never go after the b pawn. Go after the central pawn. Yeah. No, knight c5. Right. Yes, so it's it's not clear yes what he has against the uh, edge into g5, having spent uh, so much time. This has been taken. This is the live position, and uh, after H into G five, he probably needs to. He probably has some move where he uh, tries to get some initiative going. Yeah. Maybe I'm thinking uh, something like. Chat. Uh, do you have any idea? What is he uh, intending against H into G five? Because. I don't see it. Did he just make a blunder? Do you think that's possible? Like he was thinking, he's spending such a long time on knight d four. He spent close to five minutes, and uh, sometimes when we uh, think too much, that's also a problem. Right. Especially uh, in chess, um, many times you think too much and uh, you burn up a lot of time, and I think you end up uh, confusing yourself. You know there is this uh, there is this thing called Parkinson's law. Mm-hmm. So, I when I uh, started working for Vidit as a second a uh, few years ago, and uh, so he used to basically uh, give me some a set of work to complete by the previous night, and then I had to show him the next morning. That's how the uh, things work. Mm-hmm. And uh, initially, it was a lot of work for me. in a very short time mm-hmm. and i used to uh, i used to take a bit longer than necessary to you know get everything done uh, at the desired quality and then uh, he told me about this uh, concept called parkinson's law which means uh, the work we have it fills itself uh, up to the amount of time we have available for that work for example you have like 5 minutes to do something or uh, and you get some work done and if you have 30 minutes to do the same thing then you will find some way to get that work done in 30 minutes you know you will do it so slowly or you will do mm-hmm. different things so that is basically the parkinson's law uh, it fills itself for the time available for its completion that's how the law is worded and uh, oh, i think nice 
That's I think nice. it applies in a lot of lot of situations, you know, uh, when we have a task, a decision to take. Uh, I think it's really useful if we have some sort of a time limit, and then we make a conclusion, and then we keep it keep it aside and uh, go on to the next one. Otherwise, uh, uh, I think it's similar in chess, you know. Uh, that's why people get into time trouble because they often spend too much time. recalculating 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 and rethinking and rechecking variations and uh, true they start just burning up time so i think i think it's uh, it's it, i think it, it applies to chess and also some uh, areas outside of chess too especially if you have a lot of work to do mm-hmm. and you have to complete them on a list it really helps to have a time limit for them right Yeah, I've never really thought about that in this way, but it it might be really like true in most of the cases. Like yeah. Yeah, true in most of the cases. I think you make a very valid point there. It's true in most of the cases. In some cases of course we need time, yeah. We cannot complete certain things yeah. within a short time. True. Like when you're uh, writing a chess table course, you need time. You cannot you cannot write 200,000 words in Uh, one month that's why it took uh, forever for ad <laughs> well for ad i think uh, the general laws that apply to humanity i'm not sure if it uh, applies to ad true 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 yeah that's that's something that it's um, good to good to learn to to know the uh, uh time management nowadays time management is the key in most of the most of the work and in the life like you can manage to do so many things in your life if you know how to control your time yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i'm tempted to ask uh, i'm uh, i'm just thinking of a question uh, related to ad and i think the chat will know what i'm asking about so now there is a certain uh, event that has to happen in ad's life and uh, right now we are not sure of the time limit uh, for that event to happen so i'm really curious if you know <laughs> i think we all know which time event we are talking about it's definitely not a new chess table course <laughs> yeah well many Parkinson's people voted to- Many people voted yes, so maybe they think there is still some hope for AD. <laughs> maybe they don't know the back uh, back story, like the background story of how how he created the course. <laughs> I don't know. Meanwhile, Alan Kevin in the chat uh, he says there is also something called a Pomodoro technique for learning. Yes, uh, I also use I also used to use the Pomodoro technique when I was writing my chess table course. So Pomodoro technique, how it works is uh, there is a concept that uh, we can you know we can do our max focus only for something like twenty one minutes and then we take a break. This Pomodoro technique it has this clock. It's it's shaped like a tomato, and there is this clock. and it runs up to 22 minutes and then it automatically gives you a 5 minute break and then it again goes to 22 minutes uh, i'm not exactly sure if it's 22 or 21 but it's similar to that time and then you get a 5 minute break or you can restart your pomodoro clock and mm. uh, i also used to find that quite useful for uh, my productivity uh, back in the times to get things done oh that's nice Nice. I'm learning so much today. Cool. Yeah. Meanwhile, guys, uh, those who have just joined us, another friendly reminder to like the stream, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and participate in the vote. I would suggest that you vote uh, what you feel is the most honest answer. The alternate is to be try and be nice to AD, but uh, I really don't uh, see the point in that. Unless he comes, <laughs> when he comes, we we act weird, nice to him. <laughs> oh, who knows? Maybe he's just lurking in the chat, not. Uh... I'm friending each of us one by one. Have you have you checked though? Uh, did you check uh, if Ad is following you or is still your friend? 
if he has not already unfriended you really oh my god you know because after that previous stream i re- i'm really not sure <laughs> oh my I'm really, god i'm really not sure as he unfriended you really no i don't know i'm going there if it's really possible now he's following no drama sorry <laughs> <laughs> not yet not yet but after the <laughs> next clip comes out <laughs> so rook and h4 taken artemio is down by 2 pawns he's down by 4 minutes guys uh, chat what do you think do you think uh, uh, do you think uh, artemio will continue his run today will he you know carry on from where he left exactly yesterday and uh, ensure that uh, he uh, beats another uh, american elite player wesley so or do you think he will you know uh, clashes i mean uh, matchups between russia and usa it always had an interesting uh, color to it it was exactly. always seen as a yeah everywhere everywhere even in the space <laughs> yes exactly even in the space yeah. in the cloud now right right but i but don't also think in chess. you think so not anymore i guess it used to be in the in the years of fisher and spassky but nowadays i think it's yeah i think it's a lot friendlier now yeah um which is or maybe chess thing. is not that much supported anymore that could also be true yes but in any case i think it's um, at least at least the environment here is uh, completely friendly and uh, i mean in the chess world you know i don't think we have these dirty uh, clashes and fights anymore like it used to be with the world championship cycle and uh, back in the days hmm. <laughs> yeah so um, back back to the chess here in world cup there was this joke about how it was uh, shankland versus the russians because shankland i think he defeated uh, he defeated peter swidler and then he played against sergey karyakin against whom he was winning the match and if he beat karyakin then he was going to play against uh, ferosev so the russians <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> but okay and then kat Ka- kat be started to work a bit <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah yeah i don't think like nowadays I don't know if it's a good thing or it's a bad thing but I don't think that chess in these countries are uh political at the political level. Like it used to yeah, be back then. Yeah, 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 I don't think. Yeah, it maybe is. it's even good that we are just like there is nothing really dirty going on and it's just pure sport. Absolutely. I think I think it's played like a game mm-hmm. and uh, the biggest controversies these days are uh, about uh, if it is rude if a player fist bumps in between a game. So I think that's I think the a big improvement. Controversy is about B3 or G3. <laughs> to be honest <laughs> nowadays in social media. Let's be fair. <laughs> Let's true. be fair and realistic. True, true, true. I think the B3 or Catalan course is the um, today's version of the uh, the space race. And uh, I guess Catalan is the Manhattan project here. I think it would be really ugliest if um Adivan second uh, course will be 1G3. That's going to be so 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 ugly. No, <laughs> And but complicated. Uh, it is it is set to it is set to heat up because uh, I I should uh, I should uh, confess that we are on talks. I mean I am on talks with Chessable to make an anti B3 course. <laughs> so if it materializes then we will we will see something at the end of the before the end of the year maybe let's see let's <laughs> world war 3 <III. laughs> but i think was really played. yeah i think he really over uh, sorry he really overextended his chances i mean i don't think he should have given up so many pawns And How about to take C4 now? Queen is a check and uh, Queen is seven yeah? forces white to trade the queens, right? Yes, yes, yes. 
this is the problem so he has to start with 94 maybe mm-hmm. but yeah that's why he's spending a lot of time because his position is not easy it's not good it's not easy to play and with wesley uh, you really can't get away with uh, bluffs and nonsense he um, uh he uh, i think he's objectively very strong and uh, he will neutralize it in a very very efficient way if you make something wrong there is uh, also i think the, there was a game between wesley so against gary caspro in one of the st louis events which was a classic amazing game by wesley so with the white pieces <clears throat> Meanwhile, I hear that uh, uh, this uh, person named Shravit, he has won the Catalan Wars. So, big shout out to Shravit and uh, enjoy your uh, lifetime repertoire Catalan course. And uh, I hope you have a good time uh, winning games and uh, when people see you winning lots of games with it, uh, they are going to get FOMO. <laughs> I'm joining the congratulations and that's that's actually an amazing uh, idea to have such a, such an activity. Absolutely you should also try it on uh, your discord yeah. Yeah. But which opening theme would you go for? Oh my god I have to choose between these two. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do something neutral I think. <laughs> Not ready. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Not ready. What's the fun in that? What's the fun in being neutral? Cuz you're just watching. <laughs> Not including <laughs> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean you can do that which is good for the bringing in more people by playing B3 or you can choose that which is good for chess and the development of uh, healthy chess in your discord players by choosing Catalan. Hmm. Oh we did bonk lads yeah we did bonk lads <laughs> Yeah so i see we you going the way of b3 I don't know i have to think of it what do you think about this position do you think that Art- artemio has uh, has some chances here um to find it's a tough, i think play? it's really tough because uh, uh, among other things like uh, terribly weak pawns he's also down to only 37 seconds oh wow 30 seconds it's not easy it's not easy and he's down to one two pawns two pawns yep yep yeah. yep and queens are off the board and i think wesley has here a really risk free position and the situation also on the clock and on mm-hmm. the other hand another pawn on d5 might be hanging maybe not immediately but after knight b6 knight d5 it can be also taken immediately why not yeah uh how exactly knight b6 knight d5 ha huh, okay got it would you would you castle long here just to be safe Oh, we still have that right to castle. Yeah, yep. yeah. Why not? Rook on d8 is really still do. good. Chat is smart, by the way. They notice that you just change the topic. Harsh Kumar points it out. So what's your stand kitty b3 or catalan Don't worry ad is not here Hmm Don't worry ad is not here so No 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 I'm I'm not afraid of ad he's he's my girlfriend This can <laughs> change much It's but... the opposite yeah <laughs> Um well depends depends for for what Depends on if you're white or black yes <laughs> <laughs> if you're white catalan if you're black, you know when i started easy. to play catalan mm-hmm. just just give a wild guess which age i started to play catalan when you were like seven no eight uh not not, not 10 11 years old i started to play catalan already wow 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 
You, um, had a, you had a refined sense of culture from a very early age. <laughs> yes, and you know, I started. I was. I used to play E four, first move like every kid, uh, most probably. Uh, and mm-hmm. then my parents decided that I needed better coach, um, and then we moved to to the other city because there were like more co- coaches, and this coach were training very strong chess players. For example, you might know Bella um mm-hmm. and and other girls strong really strong players and i was little kid and i was attending the classes and when they were analyzing the games there were most of the games were about d4 and the catalan and somehow automatically i just started to play the same openings as well so that's how no I'm wonder playing. georgia has such a strong women's team <laughs> <laughs> yeah they started with catalan they yes, are still they playing all started catalan, with catalan yeah. yeah yes true of course how can you stop it once you started it's like uh... <laughs> oh some people in the chat are so um so 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 uh, to say that yeah have to find a um, proper word childish no, no, when they're dropping some, uh, you know, small fires there, like, oh, I know it's not true, but it's something. So people will start to talk about this. Oh. No, they just misheard you. They just misheard you. Yeah. So I think, I think uh, Artemi was just lost here. Yes. What do you guys think in the chat? Uh, do you think Artemi has chances to uh score back i mean sorry defend this position bishop c7 bishop c7 maybe he loses yeah bishop c7 but okay that's just one move yeah rook c8 yeah and now i can guard the uh f2 <sighs> not easy not easy yeah it's gone for bishop e5 and what happens after rook f2 um d4 ah he wants to play d4 just to um okay but uh, this is just lost no i mean no i think i think it's just a bad yeah. push or rook c8 is winning this one yeah something went wrong something i don't want to uh spice up the situation but um <laughs> we know how white started here so <laughs> really are you blaming that i mean after like 10 11 moves like black was okay already yes but uh, i think he really lost the plot when he played knight d4 you know just giving mm-hmm. up this pawn i think he should have just uh, stuck with rook g1 and uh, then things would have been okay. Yeah. Uh, it would have been, I think, around balanced, but it's still a nice question to play in general. A uh, nice, even, uh, balanced. And White would have had his chances to try and create some pressure, but uh, uh, just giving away pawns like charity, this was uh, a mistake. And uh, now I think he, he should uh, probably resign in a few moves. I think Black can even take this. So maybe you should move on to the other game, yeah? Yeah, the other game has already started. And uh, we have here almost the end game, very close to the end game. And uh, uh, it was uh, Queen's Gambit. Tori. Uh, I think it's called Tori or Kohli. Kohli? Yeah, uh, Kohli or Tori, I'm not sure. Knight of 3 3. Not a very ambitious system, but uh, after C5, D to C5, maybe Lee Kuang had some ideas here. But uh, Aronian, uh, this is the way to get back the pawn. You break the chain here so that when the C pawn moves, the B4 pawn gets taken with check. Mm-hmm. So C to B6, bishop to B4 check, C3, bishop C5. And uh, in the end, even if white takes, uh, even if black takes another of white's pawn, 
and even though white is a pawn up his pawn structure is in a terrible mess and black has a really good development so he gets all the compensation and uh, this compensation showed in terms of black's peace activity and i think black really went on to uh uh equalize comfortably it seems a bit uh, it seems a bit dull yeah the current position yeah and that's what i was thinking uh then i was like okay maybe black has a spare position a little bit better like pleasant um but not too much meanwhile uh, shout out to grandmaster ashwin jairam who's in the chat uh, also uh, another grandmaster from india he currently lives in uh, i think he lives in st louis so mm. completes the lineup of you know another grandmaster from st louis i guess if you go to st louis and uh, you say you are a grandmaster they probably look at you like uh, how uh, you are an engineer in india what does in that india mean we, in india we have like you know uh, i think i think about uh, uh, 50% of people mm-hmm. uh, they just so back in the back in the 1980s and 90s uh, engineering was a very very good uh, uh, line of career and the people who chose that went on to become become quite prosperous and then these people in the 80s and 90s who were uh, in their 20s they became parents and uh, they had children and when these children became 20 a lot of them you know not taking in account that times have changed continued to continue to live in the same philosophy that uh, engineering would uh, be an awesome career but by then uh, i think the amount of the amount of engineering uh, universities in india and the students had grown up to so much that uh, we simply started having uh, too many engineers so too oh, much okay. too much too much is it more so more popular than medical schools yes it's a lot more popular than medical schools a lot more and uh, the problem is the then the demand gets lower because the supply is so much higher so now you need to you need to be from a really good uh, uh, engineering uh, university to complete uh, complete compete compete yes yeah. to uh, distinguish yourself mhm so there is a said that the most of the both the gms are from moscow chennai and st louis i say I see. Yeah. I think uh, the chat is like uh, chat is offended. Why? Because of because I think uh, the chat is also filled with like 80% of students doing engineering and I may have they're like you know every throw every stone thrown hits an engineer. Rookie asks me if I remember him. Yes, but what are are you engineer? <laughs> He's probably a rookie in engineering. <laughs> I've not watched Three Idiots. Well, uh, you have watched at least one, right? It's three different uh, movies. No, no, no. I was I was referring to a person, but maybe <laughs> it became too much. <laughs> Maybe it took you too much. <laughs> and okay, well, if if not a if not a chess, uh, what mm-hmm. would you prefer? What would what you choose as your profession? Hmm, interesting. Um, I have immense respect for doctors in general. So a lot of my students, or their parents are doctors. Like Nihal's parents are doctors. Arjun's dad is a doctor. Divya's parents are both doctors. uh i have immense respect for them but i'm not sure if i would have been able to do it because it's very hard it takes up like uh, 30% of your life to complete uh, your school so i i don't know um if i had to imagine like 
be completely creative then maybe i would be i would want to be like uh, demi hasabis you know uh, a good chess player and also doing something with artificial intelligence and solving real world uh, problems ha uh-huh. you still want to be close to chess well um yeah i think it's kind of hard to imagine me without chess hmm what about you um mm, i studied i studied um, at a po- uh, po- political school po- political school mm-hmm. wait wait wait, wait. <laughs> uh, <laughs> i studied the school school of politics so political uh, inter- science yes <laughs> yes political sciences uh, international relations and uh, public and administration is um, my specialty and uh, i was working in that field for a little time but then i just decided that i really missed a lot of my friends and traveling and chess competitions tournaments and so on and so on so i started to um play several tournaments while i was working but it was so hard like i had to do some work and i had to play and it was very hard to do it together mm-hmm. and then then uh people from my work said that um it should not be right from their side to hold me there and they said that uh, i have to do what i like and whenever i want to come back there will be always you know welcome in me i don't know they were uh, just uh, kind to me or they really meant it <laughs> but i i believe that if 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 at some point i would like to go back to my profession i can start with them because it was really nice experience for me Mm mm-hmm. yeah um uh, yeah but um that's that's uh it's clearly not my interest nowadays like it was some No but if ago. you had to choose like if you had to just close your eyes and pick anything that you would do apart from Yeah I, I would not choose the politics yeah I would not just No but what would you choose Um um Yeah, I don't want to sound hilarious who knows me, but I would like to choose something like connected to IT and I'm really bad <laughs> with technique and with the computer and with everything. Um Yeah. Okay, I mean, uh, yeah. if I can do stuff related to artificial intelligence, then I don't see why you can do. Yeah, yeah. Why okay, not you can let's, let's keep that way. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Katie, uh, this game there's not much going on, but it looks like the Artemy Wesley so game has completely changed. When uh, we last looked, we had pronounced uh, that Artemy was going to lose for sure. It was around this point, but if you look at the live position right now, it's a draw already. Knight e seven check, King g five, Knight e f five, and uh, it's just going to be a draw. How did this game turn around? What? what nice oh, if wow. i know then A5. definitely we can we can choose this profession if something like this is happening in the <laughs> live and the time is equal time is equal um i don't believe that there is a way to lose this game with uh with white unless you lose this f knight f5 knight uh but that's not going to happen right no because the king is always going to stay next to the knight yeah and uh, they're just going to make this draw wow so look at this fastly so uh, position how he's sitting like <laughs> this is so funny like he doesn't look happy yeah yeah let's say so he's not happy it's not happy. but how did this turn around um, let's let's go through from the point where we stopped So rook f into d2, rook b8 takes, king into d2, rook d8 check, king c2. Uh, how did this? Ha! Huh, so he first took out this rook on d2, so that he gets access to the g2 pawn, the very dangerous pawn. And after rook into b8, king into d2. This pawn was in grave danger, so black had to defend it by a uh, concrete means: rook d8 check, king c2, knight g4, and uh, the bishop was attacked. So bishop c3. and knight f4 mm-hmm. and now bishop d2 and uh, at this point could black have done anything different could he have done something uh, better 
That was pretty much log- logical after F to take D2. Chat, what do you think? Oh, yeah. yeah. If it is black it. to play, I see some very interesting lines, by the way. But maybe we'll ask chat first. Black to play, how do you win here? How do you, you know, try and... Uh, I mean, you cannot, you cannot maybe completely save the G2 pawn, but I think instead of just giving it up away for free, maybe you can get something very nice in return. I think this was an important critical point where Wesley so probably got a bit too careless. He made this move in just 20 seconds and he did have a lot of time at that point. If he had spent some time here, I think he would have been leading this match by uh, one point. Let's see. Let's see what the chat comes up with. Uh, have you figured it out, Katie? No. Oh, I'm so just it's, slow it's today. not easy for you also. Um, I have some ideas. I have some ideas. I don't want to, you know, just spoil. <laughs> no, I don't see. If I if I, if I see this, you'd heard it already. So I don't. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, let's see what the chat comes up with. <gasps> Meanwhile, uh, I see now. Oh no way! Yeah, yeah, <gasps> yeah. Oh no way! Come on, chat. Come on, you can do this. Maybe it's too tough for them. It's too tough. I th- I think. It starts with a knight, right? Yes, it starts with okay. a knight. But then that's not much of a clue, yeah? Because the knight no, is attacked that's well why I said. in any case. <laughs> <laughs> You're also not uh, making it easy, yeah? No, but yeah. I think we should tell them, yeah? We should explain it to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to go? Sure, but I don't know if it's correct. Just oh, <laughs> stop sure me if it's fine. not correct. <laughs> no, I'm no, thinking no, knight no. D... You. Knight is hanging. So um, a knight d3 with mm-hmm. a... Tr- is, it, is it what you thought? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> but let's go, let's go for it anyway. So my point is, like, after rook g2, mm-hmm. knight e1 check. Bishop mm-hmm. has to capture. And rook e1 now. Rook d1 now. If the this king captures, then knight e3 and knight g2, and black has an extra pawn. I don't know. There is a bishop on the board. It's still not yet decided, but I have some hopes because the pawns are connected. Uh, if not, king d1, and if um, uh, if rook takes, yeah, rook, knight, then we're taking the uh, yeah bishop. And after rook a4, rook e3, and once again we have connected pass pawns, and I think this is this is winning. And the king king is cut it from the e5. yeah yeah yeah. This is winning. No, but the move I had in mind uh, it was I think uh, uh, just play knight e5. Uh-huh. So after bishop at f4, there is knight f3, and uh, mm-hmm. now if you take on g2, if you take the pawn, the rook is attacked. There's no other way to go with the rook. Then knight e1 check uh, wins the rook or uh, an exchange in this case because uh, black has already lost a piece. On the other hand, after knight f3, if you try to defend the rook, then after knight into g1, bishop into g1, this position should be completely winning for black because of this pawn on g2. Yeah, and also the other pawns that are helping this pawn going ahead. Yep, That's right. so I think this would have won uh, easily for Wesley. But I think he kind of went wrong with rook d4 and after bishop at f4, rook into f4, rook into g2. Um, it was just okay for... Uh, I mean, it was still better for white. It was Sorry, for black. It was still winning for black. But I think um, it kind of became uh, okay for white in the um, rest of the game. So... Back to the live game, the live position between Lee Kwong against Aronian. Uh, the position looked completely equal. It looked very symmetrical. But now there seems to be some action going on, some imbalance. There is this pawn on C6 standing out for white, uh, an advanced pawn. And uh, black for black, it's not easy to evict it with E5 because then uh, white takes queen into D5 and queen into E4 later. So it's not easy for uh, black to do this. 
and uh, without playing e5 uh, how does how does black take on the c6 pawn how does black take the uh, how does black try and equalize uh, can i push e5 uh, e5 uh, ah okay so e5 queen into d5 you have queen into d3 yeah yeah, yeah. i missed that i missed queen into d3 but e5 i think uh, i'll take knight into e5 oh no that also doesn't work so e5 is actually a threat e5 is a serious threat and uh, white has to play against it that's what lee kwang is thinking about how to how to prevent uh, e5 how to play against e5 maybe queen b5 Mm. Can I get this queen on second rank? Queen a two. Hmm. But this. Uh, yeah, and rook rook b eight would not work because of the c seven, right? No, it works. Yeah. It works. No, 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 it works. C seven rook takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It works. But I was thinking maybe c seven directly. You know. But maybe uh, this doesn't work because after uh, queen d seven you have queen b one check and I don't have any king h two. Oh, we have we have something on similar on the board. Uh, White started with queen b two, and now after king h seven, now he goes queen b five. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we have uh, we have hundred and nineteen votes on the previous poll. Will Parkinson's law work in AD's life? And to the surprise of everyone, it's a majority for yes. People actually still believe in it. But it's not a big difference, you know. It's not a big margin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but still, but still. And uh, we had one nineteen, one twenty votes on that. Uh, someone just voted no. Was it you, Katie? Was it you? Why me? Like. It's only one person who voted. Find yes, out? one person voted no. Exactly now. Did I catch you red-handed? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I did. It's like the real life among us. Wow, AD, this is how much Katie believes in you. No, AD. It's it's nice. It's, it's just your time management, not nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, people should have seen seen your reaction. It's such a pity that we have this. Uh, but you see who, what I'm voting. I thought you cannot say. <laughs> no, but I can see your face. <laughs> okay. I can see your face. Wow. All right, so we have. Uh, I'll I'll end the poll before uh, it <laughs> goes back down fifty percent. <laughs> and meanwhile, yeah, do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So at least we have more likes than the number of votes for once. Meanwhile, uh, so far three games have been over. All three of them have ended in a draw. So who do you think is going to score the first win today? In the semi-final of the Chess Evil Masters, will it be? Um... We had only draws. Yes. Yeah, but oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah. For example, the game of Wesley and Artemio are really already counted as Wesley's one win. Um, so yeah, it's quite tough competition. Quite tough competition. It's not that easy. Usually at this level, these guys, when they are getting even small advantage, they are not uh, just blowing it. Um, mm -hmm. But um, now a and lot the opponents of... are also extremely strong yeah. in yeah, defense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's. I think it's going to be uh, right down the wire. Um, the semifinal. It's already so evenly matched, and. Uh, Yeah, very curious to see who's going to score the first win. What does the chat think? Uh, chat, chat, chat seems to be a big fan of uh, Wesley, so hmm. and Aronian. Interesting. Lee Kuang does not have a single vote so far. Poor guy. But I think in this game, he he's actually a favorite to win this. The c six pawn stands out. How did he get? <laughs> oh, so queen b five happened. Queen e two. 
queen b7 rook c7 and now queen b1 provoking the rook to c7 so that after take sticks if black played e5 here then uh, is there a tactic here kt hmm is it hey, he's losing like he's losing he's losing he's losing uh, in the live board uh, yeah i think there's something happening here the bar just spiked so bishop to c7 knight b5 and then c7 he's winning <gasps> it's actually lee kwang chat what have you guys done lee kwang had the lowest odds but he managed to score the first drama win. queen just voted for for him i think he's the one who voted and he got it right <laughs> yes drama queen loves but drama. he voted because out of the drama not because he was really believing in him he just wanted to create another drama but the pawn is stuck ah oh, no it's not stopped the pawn is not stopped well because... technically the pawn is stopped but it comes at the cost of a knight yeah wow and what here, a turn around it's enough time to you know come up with some idea here how to win it's not easy it still needs some technique uh because if white trades too much of the pawns then uh black can uh, sacrifice the bishop and it's not it's not possible to checkmate with two knights mm -hmm. unless mm -hmm. uh, black really tries and um but still i i see i see a little bit of happiness some sp sparkling in in liam's eyes um but still 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 there is some something required here yeah true 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 still some 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 something required but i don't think it's going to take uh, much time for lee kwang to uh, wrap this up So now maybe h4 and knight f4. Yeah, f4 and then uh, h4 is coming in next, so that there can be no exchanges. And then he'll put this knight on d4, this knight on e5, and uh, then bring his king, march his king. Um. It's not about the faith in any any chess player. It's not about the faith. It's just uh, it's just a position, right? Like um, yeah, yeah. If, I think I it think will I... be more more uh, weird if you say that uh, um, uh, Liam here cannot convert this big advantage. It can be even like more weird for me than to say that Aronian has here some chances. Don't true, have true, true. but I think I think that question was uh, directed towards Ishan. Okay. Uh, I don't think it was directed towards us because That's Ishan was. Me. Like, uh, <laughs> of course, any question you hear, it's you automatically assume it's for you, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Katie Geller. So yeah, and the knight comes to d4 now. This knight comes to e5, and uh, then I think we just go g4, g5. The king just marches on its way. Yeah, that's the first step of the plan. Knight to d4. Now, actually, I think the, one of the simplest ideas is to take the king to b1. But Aronian will play bishop c3 against yeah. king e2, so he won't allow that. Yeah. But still, I'll I'll continue harassing you. You think the king has to come on the key, uh, queen side? So you get into black's position, like for uh, instance, if the king yeah. gets on c six. Yes, yes, yes. Although then you have to find a way to defend one of these pawns. Bishop c three and now knight e five. Yeah, ninety five is nice. King e two, king d three. Mm -hmm. There can be some ideas like g five. Yeah, uh, g five is strong. And if we can get d four, knight to h six. Then f7 pawn will be. Um, will be imaginative. 
Do you want to go like? Uh, yeah, uh, we, white can start with king king d3 just to centralize this king. And... Yeah, I think this wins. This wins for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the ways to win. There are, I think, so many, so many, so many different ways to win here. And uh, guys, at least vote for Lee Kuang now. No, I mean seriously, he has this question. He has a piece up. And uh, why is he still not leading the poll? Why do you guys have such? Do you think Wesley is going to win the next game faster than this game ends? <laughs> they have started though. <laughs> yes, they have started, but I think I think it will be a while before anyone can win or lose a game though. Yeah, Agria has a fair point. He's like you know you said Wesley is also winning. Fair point, yes. But that's life, guys. What we expect uh, don't happen most of the times. I think he's going for this path: knight f3, knight h2, g5, knight g4, and he's he's eventually getting on h6, and that's it. Yeah, true. And I don't think like uh, he's really afraid of bishop captures the knight on e5 because f takes e, and there are plenty of pawns on the board, and black cannot. Uh, trade the pawns that easily true 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 oh just knight g5 and now knight into g6 comes with a check oh nice nice so this is why is aronian still continuing though ah knight into g6 he wants to play king f6 okay yeah but then g into f5 ah i know what he's aiming for king into f5 and now let's let's just say i make knight h4 King G four and Knight F three. Now, chat. What would you play as Black in this position? If you're Black and if you're trying to defend this, then what would your move be? Katie, I'm starting to love your self control. Wow. <laughs> Learning fast. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> Impressive. Impressive. How you managed to learn so much self control in just one day. <laughs> Oh yeah, that yeah, was painful when I saw the video. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a powerful uh, behavior modification, yes. Yeah, yeah. And Soft power. we have it from the chat. Soft power is is the strongest power. <laughs> Who is soft power? There was a soft power, like it's not something like, hey don't do that or something like you didn't put the gun on my head but <laughs> instead <laughs> yeah i think sometimes you just have to show people their own behavior yeah and I mean, then when happens. they say it yeah that happened to me so now in it5 with the idea yeah uh, uh by the way shout out to vishal alpha patrick anshika savya shachi they were all right you take the pawn uh, actually i think i should explain that bishop into f4 into f4 king into f4 and uh, here here it's is it is it win is it still a draw though with this pawn alive with yeah. uh, without the pawn it's a draw there is some the pawn... some theories there is some theories and it takes forever to um to deliver the checkmate right it might be still winning. Yeah, I'm really not sure, chat. Uh, can you look this up in the table basis while we uh, move on to the... Actually, we can do it ourselves. Yeah, We can look it up uh, on the table basis ourselves and uh, figure this out. But I don't think uh, this is uh, beyond... Uh, I mean, this is within the realms of human to solve yeah this true it's, it might be theoretical but very hard to convert i think it's winning because the pawn is not very close i remember the, if the pawn is close to the uh back rank it's not that easy uh but mm -hmm. the idea is that with the knight and the king you are squeezing the opponent's king in the edge of the board and then you are creating a mating threat and then you are taking and one knight has to block the uh pawn so you are actually doing this work with one knight and the king only and then the moment you create the checkmate uh, net, then you are bringing this knight closer to the king. And that's why the pawn should not be close to the first rank to promote on time. I think it's winning, Sri. Yeah, it's winning. It's winning. It's, yeah. it's correct, Katie. I think you explained it 
very well this is mate in 37 i just checked it with the and ashwin on the chat is also saying it's very it's winning but it's very difficult to yeah. uh, do it in this time control which is why um, lee kwang decided to not do this and instead go towards a different direction this is where the live version stands right now they have been playing this for a really long time though true true but it's 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 quite tricky here what he's trying to be really careful and you know what it can be his first win and he can lead the the uh, match so for him it's quite important he's also keeping the time on the clock still has one minute he's not coming down uh from from one minute which is really nice uh and he's making some checks there and here and then monitoring to keep the time on the clock and yeah. uh, if i were white out also avoid this kind of uh, theoretical end games which would last forever and you know you never know if you can deliver it <laughs> you're not <laughs> no don't worry i'm 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 more confident in you i'm i'm pretty sure you would you'd manage to win from here oh oh why was there a huge spike what what is happening night of two why was there a huge spike d4 do you see anything here d4 d4 knight takes d4 no i just i just i just checked the computer and it likes this move g5 g5 is brilliant pontex and d5 yeah pontex and now e5 <gasps> all right and uh, e4 is the threat and you take out one of one more of the pawns and if you go knight into g5 then after e5 uh, white has actually risks losing both the pawns so still tricky yeah guys i'm sorry if you voted for lee kwang uh, mm. um taking my advice you guys why you were asking that? justice for kathy what i missed uh i don't know Just, just let me know to make some drama over here. <laughs> uh, what happens here I... after G five? Can Black still do that? Knight G four. Ah. Oh. Yeah. So now he just wants to play knight G four check and uh, finish things off. Yeah. He's probably had enough of this. Of mm -mm. this from the tricky Armenian. So far, Lee Kwang has played very, very impressively. Yeah, he's he's playing at a very, very strong level, actually. Yeah, he's uh, he's showing an amazing performance at this tournament. Like good preparation and especially uh, after the knockout started. Yeah. Oh, he's going to chase the bishop, or uh, he just but he limited the... the bishop. No, 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 no. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He limited the bishop. So after ninety five, literally black has black bishop can't move. Uh, but whenever your king goes to b one, it still comes to c three. Yes. So but you are not the moving way? the king. You are not moving the king. You are now trying to uh, attack the g six pawn and then try to suck swing the king. So he has to move the the king. Yes, but for example, if I just keep moving yeah. the king back. Yeah. Let's say ninety five now. Uh, the one? the other night. Yeah. uh king had son and uh, ah you just yeah check. check king at 6 knight d knight g g g8 97 yes but then i take this knight no All and right. start pushing my pawn yeah but king is in the corner in the square yeah but if you want to do this you can uh, just do it here yeah like if you want to do this you can just do it like this sure no but uh, he played something else in the game so he went uh, knight f3 and knight g5 and now there's no way to defend so aronian finally lost the pawn and now at knight h3 and uh, knight f4 he's probably going to lose one more of the pawns and pretty quickly the game oh no aronian doesn't want to give up but he has to do it now because after knight f4 he's losing another pawn just um 
just to take yeah. d5 maybe no i think he, yeah he just takes oh, this pawn yeah. this is what i was also thinking yeah nice, just nice, going nice, to the pawn nice. and give nice okay simple uh, simplest and the most effective and finally aronian resigns he's not happy with himself i think he uh, had a really nice position it was just about equal so i don't think he's pleased with the way this game ended meanwhile we have the game between wesley so and artemio going on tied 1-1 in the first set of the semi finals and in the previous game artemio pulled off a brilliant haste came back from nowhere and managed to draw the game from a completely lost position in this game uh, artemio started with the sicilian defense which is a bit different from his usual karakan which he uh, stuck to and uh, Uh, seemed to perform reasonably well against uh, Hikaru Nakamura in the previous match but uh, yeah he uh, goes with the sicilian defense and after 15 moves it looks like uh, it's really interesting by the way uh, we have this sicilian taimano on the board with uh, bishop e3 and uh, there is the guest who is joining us today has written a book on uh, very related openings so what an appropriate match wow we still don't know who is the guest we can't know yet chat makes but noises. i think you can already guess yes who do you think is the surprise guest for today probably no longer a surprise i think i have spilled a lot already but let's see let's see how well informed the chat is out here satrama is one Yeah. Mhm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Chad is Chad is very intelligent, yes. Mm. Yes, Grandmaster uh, Setu Raman will be joining us um uh, any time now. And uh it will be uh, interesting to it will be interesting to have his take on this uh, position and the uh opening and the position on the board <laughs> guest who wrote book that got published probably not ad everyone loves ad so much here yeah. it's hard not to to be to be, yes, to be uh... fair <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, our guest has just joined us, Grandmaster uh, S. P. Setharaman, uh, one of the top players in India and one of the top authors in chess table as well. And exactly the moment that he joins us on the stream, we do have a Sicilian timer, no? From one e four, all of the topics covered extensively in uh, the books and the courses written by Setu. Welcome, wow. welcome, Setu. Hi, hi, guys. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming and saving us. <laughs> We need to explain this here. <laughs> Is it just about one b three all the time, or no? <laughs> no, no, no. We don't do that in the name of chess. <laughs> It's between one b three and Catalan, to, to be honest. <laughs> yes, that we do in the name of chess, the Catalan. So, what but say the what's going on here? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Look, also there the seems to be uh, some kind of a static coming from uh, the mic at your hand uh, i'm not so are, are you are you in uh, are you still in bl or uh, are no, you no i am in zurich yeah so probably i don't have a better internet connection so apologies ah, okay. if i if i'm not getting uh, <laughs> right connectivity no no it is no it is no it is you didn't tell us what what is this knight sacrifice on e4 like What? Why? What? Black sacrifice this knight. Like black can. No, but why not? If AD was there, he would be really happy with this position. <laughs> <laughs> can I I'm capture this? I'm not sure about that anymore. Yeah, what's happening after F into E4 or D uh... into E4? Uh, so one of the points this opens up the D file. So yeah, all the black three, is lost. Yeah, coming from. Exactly. Queen into Queen into three and uh, Queen into B six, and after Bishop into B six, Rook into D one check. Uh, black has won this Rook back, and uh, Queen C one, Rook into C one, King into C one. In the end, Black has won at least one pawn, and could be winning more as well. 
So this but is instead one of, of the points. Queen e3, can I uh, can I do something smarter here? For instance, just to um, uh, I got the point. The rook d4 yeah. is also hanging in. Yes, yeah, yeah, there are there are just so uh, many threats. Yes, uh, one is the threats on the d file. The pin based on the d file, bishop c5 is one of them, and e3 is also another move. Like instance, I think if people bishop e2, then e3 is coming. Yeah, probably. Yeah, bishop e2. I'm um, e3 is the. Uh, yeah, at least I have the rook d4 and bishop c5 right now. Okay. Yeah, and uh, at least at least equal material, and of course black can also start with uh, bishop c5. Yeah, yeah bishop c5. No, but then uh, yeah, problem. Yeah, queen e3 rook d4. Yeah, I can see. also bishop. Yeah, queen e3 rook d4. Yeah. So, uh, how does how does white defend in this position? Probably, uh, if I go yeah. rook h3. Rook h3 bishop c5. Yeah. Okay. Mm, I thought I, I, found I was something thinking you smart. just have to. <laughs> I was thinking you just have to go long with the queen somewhere, somewhere safe. You know, queen h two, queen c one, queen f four. Uh, maybe queen c one just to protect this. No, but then uh, yeah, take on take on b six. Yeah. yeah, I think you just have to live with this position. No, I mean, yeah, probably it's a probably lesser probably. of. I don't know. Yeah, probably probably what else to do. Yeah, and you still you still have some some h five h six going on. Yes. Or oh, maybe instead of queen b six, there is bishop c five, and you know, mm -hmm. bishop captures the knight, and e five pawn is also hanging. Yeah, but anyway, we get the same position, right? Rook d seven, queen b six. Right? Oh, but why did you put your queen on c one? You could put uh, to defend the d one rook. To cap, uh, keep it protected. Ah, okay, 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 okay. He goes with queen e two. He has the same idea, but he's going with queen e two here. Yeah, because otherwise, anywhere else, there is, I think, something like bishop mm. c five. No, and, queen b six. Oh yeah, right? queen into b six. Queen into b six. This is what we first checked. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to keep it protected. Right. Queen e two. Yeah, yeah. queen e two is probably better. Yes. Although now, now you you don't have this. Uh, mm -hmm. Attacking ideas with Queen G five, which was there. So, the but probably have Bishop G two and uh, try to take on E four. True, true, true. Bishop G two and uh, pin on the B seven bishop. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah, it's still it's still it's still game on. Although initially it looked like Black was just uh, running over White, but. Uh, here it doesn't really. I don't. I don't think black is better. Yeah. No, definitely not. I think white is better. I don't know. <laughs> no, but the evaluation bar shows a small spike towards black. Oh, so. really? I'm not getting yeah, yeah. But I thought. I thought it's not really. That's that's basically where all most of our <laughs> uh, insights come from. There should be something here. This is the first I mean, thing we are looking at after the move. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, maybe he has bishop d5, bishop e4, queen c6, some tricks like this. Yeah, this would, I think, be some rook in. Oh, yeah, this is exactly what Artemi played. I'm thinking some rook into d5 here. Yes. So e into d5 uh -huh. and. Uh, Bishop D three maybe with uh, okay. with yeah, I think probably. quite promising chances here. Yeah, probably. But maybe Black also has yeah. So, but Black is slightly better, right? Here. Yeah. Uh, no, the evaluation bar doesn't agree. I think. Bar is just a bar. <laughs> we don't argue against the bar. But yeah, you're the you're the you're the Taiwan expert, and you're the one E four expert as well. I, I'm not. So what's good? <laughs> I mean, not the Taiwan expert. Maybe I would call myself a E four expert. But what's going on with uh, you, Setu? I think you have published what three chessable courses in the last no, four, one year. Four, four. 
four chess able courses in the last one year i think that's more courses than me ad and ganguly put together <laughs> so no but at least you did a reporter on uh, catalan yeah i can understand it. i can so it can yeah. one separate yeah but b3 i mean come on <laughs> <laughs> so what what are what are the courses that you have done so far what was your most yeah, recent so the first course? one is uh, first one is lack time reporter with black 1e5 mm-hmm. uh, which covers archangel i think it's so popular now and uh, i even uh, lost the game <laughs> the last round <laughs> my opponent till archangel against uh, me so so then yeah. second course was uh, the steel man yanish with bishop b5 f5 rhinopus mm-hmm. and uh, the other uh, three and fourth was about 1e4 with five side yeah ah part 1 and part 2 yeah part 1 and part 2 awesome and any any more of them in the works no 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 <laughs> i'm done i think i'm playing tournaments now so it's very difficult to manage both i think so yeah unless you're anish <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, although although I hear rumors of a anti B3 course, so I uh, wonder who. You are you are making it or? <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> But I mean, what's what's there to yeah. make it? I mean, what it's it's probably one of the easiest courses to make. Yeah, probably you just put all your tweets there and it's over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't even have to work for it. But I then, think, I, but then I think. Uh, If 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 Aidy comes here, he will just you know turn and go back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then for for me the situation is: does that opening really deserve a course with reputation? I mean, probably you have to be trainable. The shortest course ever. Ten trainable <laughs> variations and hundred words. <laughs> Even you can sell it for two dollars. <laughs> two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think uh, yeah, Bishop F three was a point actually, not Bishop D three. So uh, you have to keep the D five pawn under control, not the H seven pawn. Mm-hmm. And uh, the problem for Black is this D five pawn seems to be uh, very brittle. So. it doesn't look like black uh, is getting anything and doesn't really look like uh, black is better in any way yeah yeah probably it's fine yeah. and what what happened to the other game lavon still going or uh, lavon lost the second game so he's down by one and a half we are uh, awaiting mm-hmm. the start of the third game which should start in a yeah that's not started yeah okay okay yeah But so, he blended no. this, yeah. He didn't play e5, right? Lavon. Uh, blended at. Uh, you mean of, uh, uh, yeah, here after e5 could play, right? And then probably. The yeah, actually, I didn't. I didn't really see what was uh, happening after e5. We were uh, looking yeah. at this, and uh, and then suddenly I saw that he made a. Yeah, he was losing, losing. Uh, So not not really clear what he missed here. He just played king g7 and uh, alone. Yeah, probably he thought that he will take the c6 pawn, but somehow yeah, pawn queen. Yeah, I think he thought the king was coming on time. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But uh, turns out that he miscalculated. Yeah, so that was the turning point in the Lee Kuan Levon game. Mm-hmm. Back to the live action, it. It looks like black doesn't really seem to have anything going on here. Artem is just flicking a chip. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know how. Can to... you play queen c4 now? Wow. Actually, possible. But then you just move bishop f, bishop e7. But then I'm not there. sure if white wins anything. Sorry. No, rook d5, right? Yeah, but uh, takes ah bishop no, just queen c8. Yeah, yeah. I will take the bishop. So I have to go bishop f8. Yes. So now after takes 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 queen into e5. There's no queen c8 checkmate, and uh, black threatens queen e1 himself. No, but what is white fighting for here? Uh, I think he's trying to win a pawn, yeah. No, no. I mean, position is equal. Oh, 
right mm, the computer likes it a bit more for white so no. there is something here but you're full to know always <laughs> so in the screen on the right side uh, corner you see the evaluation bar ah okay okay on the live board mm-hmm. it's going to take a while but you will find the right uh, right bar <laughs> and you will start to use it <laughs> yes this bar is good yeah i don't like this king age it me like um Is, was yeah, that really I necessary? I yeah, I don't see the point why he went for King H8. Yeah. Um, it's already the end game. The there is some back, uh, back rank, uh, you know, weaknesses and so on. And the, the king goes even... Further, yeah? Yeah, even in the end of the word. So I'm not quite sure. Yeah. No, maybe I can't. I can't do this thing. Yeah, queen c4, bishop f8, and queen d4. But probably you have rook e8. Uh, but then. Um, yeah, I think you can do something like that. Queen so and queen e4. And at the very least, don't you? Yeah, yeah, on? that's true. I take take and bishop f4. Oh. So annoying. You see, because he went king on h8. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. maybe this is the direction uh, in which the game will go and then uh, you have to no but this play is something like c3 yeah, yeah. sorry no this is annoying right really yeah and in this end game i should i should really take this opportunity to point out that you don't play b3 mm-hmm. because black has this dark square bishop so then you you're not really relieving yourself from the back rank in general oh. also you don't play b3 <laughs> But, but how do you always come to that point yeah i just talk the truth about chess and it so happens that uh, it coincides with b3 not working out <laughs> <laughs> queen c4 on the board as we expected no i mean it, it all started with ad yeah ad uh, started putting all kinds of nonsense posts on social media so when someone made the move b3 on the 45th move of some game it'd be like <laughs> wow b3 what a move and then <laughs> and then i got really triggered so probably ad should make one more course yeah to get uh, <laughs> out from this b3 stuff maybe b4 i mean imagine when that would get published i mean for b3 we already waited like 10 years <laughs> and maybe b4 like just one move ahead it's going to take another year uh so we have we also have a poll on the chess 24 india channel and uh, i realized that you don't really have to ask a question for the poll and uh, it looks like wesley so is a clear favorite here with a percentage of 78% artime has only 22 but uh, artime has shown that he can wriggle out of some really bad positions he has fantastic ability to defend and resist so let's see yeah but also on the other hand um, you're really getting tired when you're constantly uh, like um, defending, defending your you, you are just getting so tired it's yeah. way yeah. much easier uh, when you are looking for for uh, for the uh, convert uh, to how to convert the better position rather than to defend right yeah i think you can already feel that fatigue in uh, moves like king h8 yes king h8 queen c4 alone queen c4 or you know even uh, yeah i think i think king h8 was uh, the move in this game and in the previous game also he uh, was making some uh, i think uh, obvious mistakes Oh it was a it was a miracle how he survived there. Yeah, last game, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yep, yep, yep. It was an absolute miracle. So queen c4 on the board, maybe we'll uh, take a break from this game uh, with the conclusion that white is better. The third game between uh, Aronian against Lee Kuang has begun and they have repeated this opening in uh, the Italian. But this, this the, opening has become really popular, yeah, in the chessable matches. This uh, bishop g5. Yeah, I think I've even played it a few times, right? As well. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't really look at any of Adiwan's games in this tournament, <laughs> especially with White. <laughs> so, but he didn't play B3, yeah? <laughs> no, of course, of course, of so course. That's he why did he got at least decent positions from the opening. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Aronian defeated uh, AD with B3 in the last round. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I saw that game. I saw that game. That yeah, I also saw that game. I mean, I saw only AD's games with Black in this tournament. No, just I to thought sure. whoever plays one B3 against Sajid one, he's going to lose. Yeah, I mean, just to promote his score because exactly. he has score against Black with Black I mean, yeah. against one B3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has his priorities clear: promotion over anything else. <laughs> How the conversations would go if B3 and G3 scores were real papers? <laughs> I don't think it would be too different because when I uh, talk about B3, I, I imagine I imagine AD. <laughs> so every... But Me yeah, too, already. Me too. Oh, you too. Me too. <laughs> I think everyone else because of this. Uh, what he started in social media. <laughs> yeah. True. He hypnotized us. Yeah, he tagged everyone and hypnotized everyone. Yeah. 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 Now it's almost known as AD's opening. Yeah. I mean, people. Yeah, exactly. Like Fisher and Larson and everyone forgotten. Yeah. Also Jabo. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, how many games he has won? Yeah, one B3. Ah, yeah. I'm sure there were a lot of players who played one B3. But honestly, I'm not. I'm not really. Uh, I'm not really jealous or complaining that uh, AD has this opening after him. <laughs> I mean, I would rather not have an opening after me if it was one B3. Oh my god! We, like it, it feels that the, the um, they're like people are getting ed- adding in the team against B3. Sahaja is also in the chat and he's saying that when I talk about B3, I imagine losing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Ad, save yourself. But you know, uh, Sahaj was the publishing manager of the B3 course, so that's yeah. like uh... <laughs> probably that was his first course, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the the kind of mistakes people make in the beginning, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think now that he has got that out of the way, he can never make a worse decision in his life in his chess able career. Probably the worst is over, yeah. Yes, the worst is over. He was probably like, you know, if I publish this B three chess able was like, you know, Sahaj, do you want to join chess able? Sahaj is like, yes, yes, take me. <laughs> okay, so your test, you have to publish this course. Which is really, really unpublishable, and if you can do this, then you're in. And so I just like, okay, I'm up for the challenge. Which course is it? One B three. It's like what? But he really wants a chess table, so he takes it. He finishes off the biggest challenge of his life, and now he's in. <laughs> That's quite a story. <laughs> No, I don't believe that there is no place. one here in the chat who is uh, team AD people. Come on, <laughs> spam, spam it in the in the chat. No, I mean chess able recruitment is very tough. Yeah, it's like getting into the navy. You have to publish courses like one B three. <laughs> so what's what's going on in the position here? Um, The computer loves it for white, but it looks like black is throwing all the pieces at white's king. So how does how does white defend in such a position? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, um, also typically, you know, a lot of people who are just starting out, they start to get really intimidated when they see the pieces come towards their king. So maybe you can uh, take us through, you know, how 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 do you defend in such situations in general? Say yeah, to. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean. Some some of the pieces are gone, right? So it's not too much. No, no but I think the more you analyze these positions, yeah, it's it's kind of feel it. Yeah, I mean, it's not easy because obviously the king is quite uh, malleable on H4. Exposed. Yeah, exposed and uh, yeah, but on the same hand, I think if I get F4 somewhere, I don't know. Not not now, of course. Yeah, exactly. I think one of the key things in such situation is to try and create some air around your king. Yeah, one is. Uh, Exchange the attacking, exchange the pieces which are attacking. But secondly, uh, you really need to create some space around your king 
so two things one is if the king needs to run away he needs that space mm-hmm. and second is even for the other pieces to get connected towards the king there has to be some space created around the king so that is one of the important uh, things to do when defending yeah maybe so, bishop h2 okay yeah bishop h2 and f4 but bishop h2 the problem is bishop e2 so yeah but then rook e1 Ah yeah, you can just do rook e1. Yeah, f2 mm-hmm. is not any true. Also, I have some some ideas like d4 and then take f f4. Yeah, something like that. Exactly, exactly. D4 is also one of the other moves that I was thinking about. And now either bishop d3, getting mm-hmm. another piece into the game, or yeah. uh, f4 as you suggested. Yeah. So this is this is basically the way to defend. Yeah, get more of your pieces into the defense, and for that you need to create some space around the game. Hello, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I was reading the chat. Like Chirag has a very nice comment. Like Eminem said in Kill Shot, you had to give your course to destroy your career. <laughs> chat is lovely here. But you, you have you just came right from Sochi or no? Uh, it's been three days. It's been oh, okay. I okay. came on second, so it's already fifth actually. And uh, oh, someone just told you for not in without you. I don't know. Someone feels some kind of vacuum here. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, I I would feel the vacuum only if the chat was not there. You know, I think the chat is what makes Chess Twenty Four the people, the community we have. It's a very small community, but uh, the unique thing about uh, Chess Twenty Four India, we almost kind of know everyone in the chat by their mm-hmm. names. so it's like it's almost like a conversation direct conversation between us and them and when when is ad coming uh i thought we were being nice to the chat so <laughs> ad is not coming <laughs> he's not coming <laughs> aroni has split f4 by the way doesn't this wow. just run into bishop e2 I think he just wants to give up the exchange once again, like he did in the first game, and then hunt after Black's king. It actually, it's it's it actually makes a lot of practical sense yeah. because when Black takes e to f4, White will close this bishop with d4. This light square bishop comes onto this diagonal, and then all the White's pieces are gunning towards Black. Mm-hmm. So f4 and, is uh, a very very interesting. Yeah, I thought maybe I could do H four, probably or something. Maybe I can take and play G three even. Uh, take where? No, take on H four and play G three. Yeah. I don't see any. No, after. Ah, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Yep, probably. Yeah. Then you know what? Probably. Yeah, it it feels it feels it feels the. Uh, No, maybe I don't like it so much, but probably it's fine. Bishop e two. Mm-hmm. Too many. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. 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 Space for me too. Hmm. But if I let's say go H3 anyway. Uh. Now. Uh. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's too. G3 is not possible. Yeah. Take take Bishop F3 instead. Yeah. Or maybe I'll yeah, just you, start. You, you can take as well. And Bishop A on F4 to G3. Yeah. No. I mean E F4. Ah. You mean E to F4. Yeah. 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 Ahead. Bishop A on F G3. Yeah. This is killing. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Then what else to do? Bishop H two. Yeah, you want to do. But then H three anyway. Yeah, I think I think I think H four is powerful. That's why I think computer is showing a bit of a spike towards black. Mm-hmm. Uh, this seems to be really powerful and. Uh... Can I 
take can I take it? Uh G I takes H. Bishop takes H and rook G1. Seems like the kind of thing Aronian would do for sure. Yeah, probably is losing, yeah. Probably cannot do it. That's take true. take and bishop g4. And now uh F nah, not F. Uh, can I do D4? Takes and bishop e2, yeah. Bishop e2. This doesn't look great for black. It actually oh, looks very oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe instead of d takes e, e takes d, rook. Oh god, wait. King h8. Uh, so the bishop e2, right? Yeah, and f5. When? Oh. Yeah, king oh, d4. Oh, maybe, no, maybe then I first go f5. King h8. Also, I can. Yeah, I can take on e5 and then play f5. F5 know. and queen h5. Ah, yeah, that's true, that's true. No, I cannot play f5, that's true. Mm. Yeah, probably it's not uh, easy. Maybe I don't go d4, maybe something else. Good part. Right. So we have this really interesting portion in Aronian's game and Lee Kuang is deep in thought. Meanwhile, we are towards the end in the game between Wesley So and Artemio, both the players down to less than a minute. Uh, Artemio still has equal pawns, by the way, but I think we are going to see a pretty exciting finish here. Queen d6 and queen into h6. Mm -hmm. Now, White would uh, love to get some of his pieces down the hedge file and try to finish it off, but it's not so easy, yeah? Yeah. Maybe Bishop f Ah, yeah, just take the pawn. I guess just collect the pawns on the queen side and start pushing your own pawns because yeah, black is in low. White is better, clearly better here. Yeah, white is clearly better here. True, white is clearly better here. But you know, with one minute against yeah, Artemio. Yeah, we can. Yeah, already see a lot. Of... No, D three was alive. Yeah, yeah, look into D three is uh, losing because of the background mate. So. That leaves what, uh, yeah, he has to play c3. He couldn't have taken, I mean, he could take c into d3, but that kind of yeah. gives you a icky feeling. Some bishop e5. Rook b8. Rook b8, yeah. yeah. Which is also probably still possible after c3, but now there's no threat on b2. So this makes a huge difference. Yeah, I can go bishop c4. Here. Can I push d2? I can probably. Take on. Uh, can take on. Queen e7. Oh, also take. Yeah, and then rook b8 something like bishop. Yeah, bishop I don't like this so much. Yeah, so, no, probably you have checked. Yeah, no, check, check, yeah. So, no, yeah, probably I don't take. Maybe that take four or something. Yeah. Uh, or maybe bishop two. d3 looks better. Yeah? yeah, I think bishop d3. Which is kind of what is happening in the game. Uh, Artemi went uh, bishop g7 and now bishop c4 and d2. And now I expect bishop d3. Yeah. Bishop d3 on the board. And uh, I guess queen e4, king c2 and... Uh, yeah, so comfortable. I think uh, white is completely safe here. I think this one, uh, Wesley is going to take this one. Mm -hmm. King c2 and probably queen e4 uh, next. Or maybe maybe just rook into oh he takes one a6. This I do not expect. Yeah, but why did he take? He could have taken on uh I he could have taken on D2 but then bishop at six, yeah. The, some tricks were coming. But why White needs to take this to, uh, yeah, D2 yeah, pawn? Yeah, like, can can I just play Bishop B five and then push the A pawn in the initial position in, in the current position? You mean after uh, Bishop takes Queen of three? She means. Uh, oh, but then Queen of five check, right? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, the game has moved on a bit. And the rooks are off. Mm -hmm. So Wesley just took the pawn and then he took another pawn because Queen yeah. F I check there's this bishop d3. 
and uh, we have this position on the board now and i think just bishop d3 uh king c2 or queen e4 and it should be over yeah, these three pawns are just too strong i mean it should be over but last game also we said the same thing about wesley so and then it ended in a draw <laughs> and now the chat never believes us when we say something is winning so <laughs> let's see what happens now let's stay the course king c2 on the board queen into e2 as expected and now some bishop c4 to so queen a8 a queen is coming yeah and goes queen b8 check first oh he takes this is this winning is this so simply winning it looks like because bishop is not coming yeah? because that's why wesley went for it yeah yeah possible but how is winning like now uh for instance king e6 uh you have to i think uh, more you have to put C5, the pawn yeah, in the dark yeah. squares yeah but so how about the... king d5 is it winning i don't know um now king d3 so you have to keep putting this pawns king on the dark six. squares because if you put them on the light squares then uh, this bishop will just block it the pawn on no, the but, dark squares uh, okay Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe I'm my bishop is not coming that's right. Yeah, it's just not on time. Like yeah, black can time. give it up, yeah. But then white gives a check and then he puts the king on c4 and takes the pawn to b6. You have to keep putting them on the dark squares and this king is not able to come and cover it. Ideally you would want the king to be on c7 and the bishop to be on a7 in a position like this. So the bishop always watches a pawn. and uh, when a white plays b6 black takes bishop to b6 but no but this black was a responsible can... decision right it was not easy to take yeah because i mean you are never sure whether it's winning and then yeah but i think he was off, yeah. convinced that this bishop is never going to make it to a7 uh, very quickly Uh, he just sensed it very really, really well. Yeah. yeah that's and true. also like when our queen when queens are on the board there are some checks and maybe it's even hard like Maybe it's even better to play here in the end game rather than with the queens. Yeah. Mhm. That's true. Okay, yeah, if h pawn is not on the board, I think it's still winning for uh, for white. And this h pawn is just uh it's controlled now. It doesn't really make any any danger yeah. for white. True. True, true. It's uh and also the king oh, cannot make it. it. He cannot yeah. never make it. He cannot. Yeah. B5 B6 and king cannot just uh get closer. Yeah, the h pawn is like the B3 pawn. It might as well not exist. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Wow, no, th this was the longest pause that he didn't uh, <laughs> mention B3. <laughs> But no, no, not not longer than this. <laughs> bishop, king b five, king c six, and b yeah, all, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the king goes to b seven, and the pawn goes to c seven. Yeah. Yep. Now probably the chat will believe you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the chat will not. <laughs> It is exactly like you are defending you're defending in some time and there is like at least one game that you are just you know missing something True Yeah So Wesley so wins this game finally and goes up 2-1 in the match he was threatening to do that in the last game as well but he finally breaks through Meanwhile Aronian has managed to get a very good advantage against Lee Kwang He has practiced two rooks yeah Yes, he has sacrificed two rooks. Uh, he sacrificed one rook after bishop into f1, rook into f1, knight f6, and now after knight f3, knight g4, black was threatening to play knight e3, but Aronian is like, you know, I don't, I don't really care. I just go knight h4 and take the pawn on e5. You can come in knight e3, you can take my rook, you can take my exchange, but I believe in my minor pieces. So now what's the b3 pawn here? <laughs> <laughs> what is the b3 pawn here? That's a good question. Oh, I don't know. B three is himself here in the chat. Hello, ID. Oh. 
<laughs> you are a bit late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you missed a lot of things, Eddie. I'm I'm really not sure if he has uh, either come now or V3 Forest left the void. Potato, it fits it? everywhere. What? And Shikha in the chat. B3 Pond is like the potato. It fits everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Group T8. We had many interesting uh, discussions about AD earlier in the chat, including a poll on AD's uh, life in general. Mm-hmm. But uh, the chat, the chat is very loyal to AD, so they actually voted in favor of AD, to the disbelief of all of us. So, what do we say? Uh... <laughs> Ishan. Like okay, so first I home. I broke your heart. Okay, that's why I wrote you hard. Let's let's be fair. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was it was a heart on a yellow card. So we were not really <laughs> sure what it conveyed. It <laughs> is like wait, what? I haven't received I haven't received one in all these years. Ishan comes in and <laughs> no 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 no. Katie, why would you do that? First, first I broke his heart, and then I had to, you know, make it. You had to I fix had to it, do it. Yeah? I had to do. It. I had to fix it. Yeah. No, I think it's okay. I mean, Ishan deserves it. He deserves a broken heart. True. Any anyone who supports B three deserves it. <laughs> Can you just take E into D six now? Yeah, probably. I see so many answers. Okay, wait. Yeah, uh, Katie is basically our Aronian expert here. She uh, usually manages to predict uh, Aronian's moves. Uh, I think ninety-eight percent of the time. Uh, oh wow! So Katie, how do you how do you go about playing with white here? Uh, the pawn is still only five, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she says feed into the bad move, yeah. No, but I mean, do do you just take and play? No, no, no. This. Uh, the live evaluation this is the only evaluation bar on the live board analysis does not have an evaluation so yeah, we I don't like know this. why not but would you would you would you like take this exchange let's no. say play something like bishop b8 um oh maybe how would you continue that <laughs> in this case maybe yeah. um i really like this bishop how about bishop c5 hmm just ha huh, but i mean if i really want to give up the bishop I, i think i would find a way to do it yeah queen g7 knight a5 fine yeah this was what i was waiting for mm. oh oops <laughs> but maybe yeah, yeah yeah this works Okay. But yeah, bishop into d6 on the board and maybe maybe i i feel bishop b8 feels natural yeah it's also on the board Then maybe you'll take yeah. take it on f eight, yeah. yeah. Will you take on f eight or b eight? B eight, b eight feels a bit optimistic or no? But some it... it's too much material, ma- material, right? Yeah, I think I think still queen f four and still some attack. No, no? but uh, but or too much. I don't know. Maybe or uh, I don't know. not easy yeah yeah not clear not clear it's actually not an easy decision to take here, but uh, i think uh, the exact kind of thing where aronia knows like he strategically i think he understands what he wants in these types of situations mm-hmm. so i'm thinking as white i would take this then I'd, i want to get d4 and e5 basically. yeah exactly d4 e5 was also but then like, yeah but but, but yeah if you start queen e4 it no. gets hit yeah but what if you start with knight f5 Yes. So now the black queen cannot get out with queen g6 because there's knight e7 check, and uh, if black plays something else, then we just go d4 e5 and bishop d3, and I think this, if white gets d4 e5 and uh, takes this bishop out of the game, then I think white has a really nice position. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, I don't know what if you guys also see this, but whenever uh, Ronin has some initiative, he's starting to move um, move a lot. Uh, and when he has a, a bit um, worse position and when he's in defense, he's very much focused. And like I have impression that now he's very deep in his oh, variations he took and calculations. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. ah, so sorry, he sorry, 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 sorry to interrupt you. You're you're right, yeah. Katie probably predicted. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. impression I have. Like every time he's he's having something, uh, some initiative, he's moving a lot. Uh, Aronian, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, AD seems to be hurt. He's like me leaving chat. And, oh, he said that uh, yesterday too, and he said like wait another one hour. <laughs> and he, he timed out like 10 people. <laughs> oh, meanwhile, there's another poll on Chess 24 India. Uh, <laughs> and feel free to feel free to. There should be four button, all of them. Like each and every four button. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I think uh, that would win in that case. Uh, meanwhile, guys, let's get those likes past uh, 150 and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And uh, feel free to participate in the poll where mm -hmm. AD seems to be winning like any any uh, mm -hmm. any other poll on Chess24 India. The chat allows to make AD win. E5. So he goes for E5 anyway, but uh, this doesn't really control the bishop anymore. But it does bring this bishop into the game in a powerful way. So it's all about controlling these. So can I, can I give, give the exchange by rook e8 and rook e6 something like that? No, uh, not that. So, yeah. Yeah. And I ignore it and go bishop d3 and you own rook g6 or something else. Uh, yeah, I can't hear you, Sethi. I can't hear you, no. Can you hear Sethi, Katie? No, 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 I can't. Problem my internet connection. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, now, now, no, okay. now we can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Queen G son. Queen G son, Queen F four. Ah, Queen G four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Queen G four is a problem. So start with. Yeah, I really need this Queen on F four and some Knight F five, but it's not easy actually. Hmm. But maybe yeah, Knight F five, Queen G four, D five. No, Queen G five. Ah, yeah, queen g5. Of course, you go queen g5 on the dark squares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not it's not easy for Aronian. Uh, it's it's very uh, dependent on time. And uh, although his opponent has only two minutes, which is a huge factor. And this has, I think this has been one of uh, Aronian's main strategies in the uh, champion chess too recently. You know, it's it's been a lot about setting the opponent problems rather than trying to find out what's the... Uh, yeah, I think he's been very effective in playing fast and setting opponent problems, and uh, even like the best playing, of players. Playing the opening which opponent, I mean, which your opponent has recommended, yeah, in your course. Did he do that? <laughs> when did he do that? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Against AD, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> True. Although I, I think uh, that was a win in spite of the opening rather than because of the opening. Yes. That's one of the few cases. B5 on the board takes takes bishop d5, queen g7. And now uh, d4, probably. d4 probably incoming. And now maybe black will play b4, trying to get some counter play on the b5. Yeah, push c4. Yeah, b4 looks c4, no? Yeah, b4 is c4. Yeah, don't touch that b pawn ever. <laughs> setting up the punchline guys queen g5 Knight f5 king and shape yeah i don't know i don't see that that really uh, how about knight uh, d6 queen uh i was hoping for uh, some counter playoff and now some f6 <laughs> you have e6 yeah mm -hmm. this feels really Difficult no, no, but why, why, why queen x4 check? You could do direct f6, right? Yeah, I could do direct f6. No, no, after the king. Yeah. 
true true because and now i can push on uh, yeah d5 is okay okay, okay. No, but yeah. here, ah, like, so you have to. Yeah. Queen g7 on the board. And what is thinking? What's what's the alternatives here? Queen f4? Mm -hmm. uh, no, he goes d4 anyway. And now knight f5. Yeah, but that was the line we were talking about, right? King h8. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just goes queen f2. True, true. true. <laughs> control, control, and not all of f6. Actually, the key is to not all of f6 and put... Uh, have have some control of the dark squares with the queen, I guess. King h8 anyway. f6 is a threat now. Mm -hmm. I think I think knight f5 is an option now. You meet f6 with a6. It still, it still looks like white controls a lot of the board. Okay, rook b6. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I got distracted by the chat. Rook b6. What, AD is hijacking, hijacking the chat or what? Yeah, yeah, AD is hijacking the chat, but uh, in the poll, it looks like actually uh, KT is in the second place. <laughs> so, what is the poll about? Uh, who is the best drama queen here? Oh, and who is on eight one? Eighty, of course, eighty. It's drama queen, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but okay, I mean, eighty is gender neutral. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in this context, <laughs> I, really, I really, I really, I meant it in a very different way than it came out. Hey guys, uh, thank you for joining. This is my last stream in Chess24 India. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel from here on for more streams. <laughs> no, I mean, not AD is gender neutral. What I meant is drama queen is gender neutral. The term is gender neutral. We heard what I we heard. <laughs> yeah, but we heard something else. <laughs> Because I, I synonymize <laughs> AD with drama queen. <laughs> oh god, what? I have triggered the chat. <laughs> I'm the beast. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, the, when he woke up this morning, he was he was still believing that he was based and he came here some hours later and he, <laughs> his status was changed to drama queen. He's now not if happy. AD could do it, time me out, I'm sure he would. He's he's finding the way how to cancel the, the poll, I'm sure. <laughs> no, that he cannot do. We can only end the poll, but uh, that would mean he's the winner. Rook b6 played by uh, Lee Kwang, securing the third rank. And uh, of course, white cannot play queen into f7 because of queen h4 check, losing everything in the process. So not really clear how Aronian can continue this attack. Aronian is under pressure, by the way. He's down by a point, and this is his last white. So if he doesn't win this, then he will need to win with the black pieces to equalize the score in the first set. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so rook b6 and uh, now what do we do? Katie, uh, you're the Aronian expert here. Yeah, <laughs> you're asking me the hard questions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hard, hard questions. Um, I really don't see anything better than knight f5. And yeah, I think that bishop into b8 was really a bit excessively optimistic. Yeah, that's why he, I think, yeah. he went. Uh, he went a bit too far, like I did a few minutes ago. Mm 
night uh, yeah i think i really don't see anything better than night of fire do you guys see anything Bishop Bishop comes I think already the portion has drifted far away. But what's the, what's the idea of Bishop F5? Probably he wants to push D5. Ah. So E5 if pawn want to be hanging. Mm-hmm. True, true, true. Nice. And... Uh... Not, not really clear what uh, black does now. This is such a difficult position to play with either side. Yeah, I can play queen and it looks so... Rook a6 was what I was uh, considering because I wanted to try and get some rook into b2. Mm. <clears throat> Rook takes queen and now rook into b2. Uh, this is actually very easy for me to spot because I'm always looking at ways to take the b pawn. <laughs> so, uh, naturally, subconsciously, I just went towards rook a6, rook a2, rook into b2. Which seems like a huge threat, by the way. Bishop h3? Ah, no, um, then, no, why we can't take, take it? Ah, take queen what? h4 and... Uh, uh -huh. Take what? Like, what's the idea ah, of you mean the rook? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, I just... Oh, he did play bishop h3, so... Oh, wow, he went for that. Rook a2. And uh, now he nice, has to uh, move yeah. the knight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but now again he's back, yeah? Probably. Yeah, now again he's back. He had to, he had to release this knight from out there. And... Uh, so, but I can do h4 here. It's possible. I don't know. King, I don't know. It looks interesting. H4 looks interesting. Why not? Knight d6, there is queen g3 check, which wins because there is a mate on the next move. And. Uh, if knight h4, I think rook b2 again. Yeah, knight h4, there is rook into b2 again. So, we are calling out the moves as it's being played. And now, after rook into b2, queen into b2, at least black has a draw. I think. Uh, I think uh, uh, Lee Kong might consider this very serious. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. This is probably how the game is going to end. So that would leave Lee Kong uh, leading with 2-1 against 11 or... Oh, he took takes queen h4. Ah, it's not seeing a draw, yeah? So probably uh, he thinks probably, he take it anytime. Yeah. yeah. True. Queen d2 and now queen g3 check, king h1. Oh, we have to watch out for this. <laughs> so rook a8, understandably. Now there's another mate in one threat. So what do we do now? Queen c1 or queen d1. Yeah. Queen C1 makes sense. Yeah, but now King G7. King G7, yeah? Or King G8. Yeah. No, King G7 looks more natural. I don't know how you're going to beat us, yeah? Yeah. Can I do Rook A2, Rook E2, and Rook E1? Um, wow. Queen D1 has been played by Aronian, not Queen C1. Uh, doesn't really care about the pawn, I guess, because he always has a, has a perpetual at least. And uh, I guess this King G son or King G applies anyway, huh? useful profile access. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah probably King this G makes a lot of sense in general. Yeah, it's not easy to move it. King what? is on G7 already. Um, what? oh, what it has you? been, and now Bishop E2 and Bishop into B5 is coming, so it's going to be a draw because. You can't really win with this against so many pawns. Bishop d7 also, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah so finally it's a draw. All roads lead to a draw. And uh, yeah, he will, uh, he will keep two pawns. But uh, how exactly will be White's defensive construction here? No, Bishop d7 needs 6 
Oh, right. Oh, no. Because f6 there is e7, yeah? Uh, may- maybe you have king f8 after uh, e6. Oh. Yeah, this can be dangerous. This can be yeah, dangerous. Yeah, yeah. This is king f8. Yeah, no, this is dangerous for the game. Yeah. You gave up d4 pawn. Uh, and yeah. S- maybe, maybe you just put the bishop to f3 and then... Be yeah. Right. And... Uh, But can I play this... king of eight, king e seven, king e six? Or oh, he's coming from uh, g six? Ah, give the pawn anyway. Give pawn. Is it draw? I think. Yeah, I'm also yeah. wondering the same thing. I'm really not sure if this is what there, I have seen. Intended. I have seen some some game where uh, uh, rook was sacrificed for a bishop, and the pawn yeah. game was winning. But this has yeah. been no uh, this has been spectacular performance by Lee Kuan yeah I think he's been playing for the uh, win from the beginning he never took any of these uh, perpetuals <laughs> no I mean uh, he had chances to make a draw in the first game but he always uh, he always chose the way to keep the game going even when the position looked very dangerous practically mm-hmm. Right. Um, there was some 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 time out in the chat, and um, and uh, there was a question: who who timed me out? Was it uh, AD or Sri? And like AD who? says, "Do you want to do you want to try it again?" <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Do you want to try it again?" <laughs> And uh, that guy gave himself a self time out. Yeah, he did not even reply. <laughs> so I'm happy. I'm happy that he doesn't have control over uh, my audio. Otherwise, I can imagine myself going on mute uh, several minutes earlier. And Katie, I think she would have gone on mute uh, two days ago. Me? Yeah. Why? You make the most fun of Haiti. <gasps> What? <laughs> of course. You're you acting like, you know, like siblings for like okay until the parents are coming and then one of the siblings says that something someone made something wrong. Come on, man. He could not even know about it. <laughs> I mean, of course he's going to know. There are going to be clips. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. I'm surprised no one has uh, made clips of the earlier stories about AD. Maybe the Discord clippers were not active at that time. But now 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 that they know what I'm talking about maybe they can get into work. Yeah, this is just a draw. Yeah, the bishop just uh, ensures that the king doesn't have any entry on the light squares. So when the king is on g5, then he has to control this pawn, and when the king is on uh, uh, e4, then he has to control this pawn. But maybe it's not that simple because one is black has this idea of f5 and king g4. Another is uh, what if the king is on f5 and you need to control both g4 and e4? Mm-hmm. Then you need the bishop on f3. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What are you laughing at? I mean, uh, initially I didn't I didn't notice your expression, but you are giggling so loudly. <laughs> no, of course yeah, the poll will end uh, whenever anyone threatens to overtake AD. Now, <laughs> why this is competition between me and AD? It's it's it should not be the competition. Come on. But you said you are the best drama queen in the world. I was better than uh, than the than the drama queen of the chat, but I I never the said chat. I'm better than AD. No, of course AD is still leading, forty five percent. Okay. Can you play F five here? Uh, yeah, you can, but uh, then I just sit with King G two, yeah. And push And the I king just... back backwards. Ah, no, Because I'll it's the wrong corner. No, no, but I'll. Ah, you mean with f4? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, but I think I think I can still escape. Yeah. Wait. Whoa, whoa. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. I wanted to play f5. Right, the immediate. Yeah, f5, king g2. And push the king back. Why? Oh. Rook how? to check. No, then I go king f. Oh, you have some rook h2, yeah? But bishop f1 saves. Yeah. Yeah, it's tricky, yeah? It's not easy. Yeah, I think you don't want to commit your pawn to f5. Uh, always uh, delay your commitments as much as possible, yeah? Unless you're getting something immediately. So rook c3, king f5. <laughs> it is declaring war on me. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny thing is, uh, bo the po people who help make the shots for me also make it for him. So these people are going to <laughs> be on both the sides. Oh no. <laughs> They're going to have the most fun. Oh no. But so far it's one zero for stream, let's say. Let's be honest. Yeah. And because there is uh, one, one video where AD AD it's been sad that AD is crying, so yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I think that was uh, both me and AD crying. Yeah, I think Sahaj was the real winner. <laughs> Sahaj was the bully. Yes. So do you do you think it's this is just a draw and should we move on to the other game? No, but other game should have finished, right? right. No, no, it just started. Ah. It's the so final game, game, right? Yeah, the fourth game between Artemiv and Wesley has begun. And uh, it's a London system. And out of the opening, once again, Artemiv down a lot on time. He has gotten g4, g5. But this game, he did not play b3. So I think at least he won't lose, even if he doesn't win this one. Which was the cause of the previous game. Yeah. Of the loss in the previous book. Where is White and going White is going to castle? Alongside? Uh good question. Uh, yeah, probably long side, yeah. Why do we go long? Knight f2 and... Uh... Knight f2, knight d3, castle, long side. Wow, AD has crossed 51%. He's the biggest drama queen by a big margin. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you are saying? No, 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 I'm happy, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, what were you saying before I interrupted you? Yeah, the question is where White is going to castle. Um, yeah, I think he's going to castle long. Yeah, long side. Yeah. Although, although it still comes with this danger, yeah. So I think he'll first put this knight on d3 to take control of the b4 square. Because if you, for example, I make a random move and uh, you castle long, then there's knight b4. And at least uh, there's some serious danger here. So mm -hmm. first you... Uh, um, yeah, first you, um, I don't know what was, yeah, first you play knight d3 and then you, uh, play castle king b1 and set up safety. Um, you guys, can we go back to the game of Aronian and, uh, uh, Le Quang Li? Because, um, the, the king, reached, yeah. yeah, king is here in the corner. And Black yeah. is trying to cut the F file now and get the king. But king should be on G3, right? Yeah, the king should be on G3 and uh, mm -hmm. there has to be check. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so I think we can show the chat. So if white plays something like bishop B5 mm -hmm. and gives another check, then if this king comes to G3, then, uh, then here white is losing because wherever the bishop goes, the rook will attack it with a tempo and the problem is like you cannot like uh, for example i put the bishop 
here black attacks with tempo and you try to go here to protect it rook b1 check bishop f1 now if the king was on a dark square corner then when black plays a waiting move then uh, it would be a stalemate because king would be on a1 bishop would be on b1 and the white king would have no more moves but in the wrong corner a light square corner which is the same color as the bishop so here the same color as the bishop the wrong corner then uh, black just wins because there is no stalemate so this is the uh, uh, the theory of the bishop uh, versus rook end game right what he's doing now he's also uh, trying to get the king into the corner but the uh, um and this is also wrong corner right like after rook g6 now mm -hmm. oh, no. it's, it's quite hard it's quite hard to play this the computer says that it's equal right yeah the computer says it's equal as they say with almost any question even 1b3 it shows as equal so uh, i wouldn't totally rely on that but uh, practically a lot of things are a lot harder to play as humans and some are easier to play so rook f2 bishop b7 king e2 yeah but as long as he maintains this bishop in this diagonal and doesn't allow uh, the black yeah, king to go to g3 yeah he's this is like the it's like that line which cannot be crossed it's like that magical line in harry potter outside of hogwarts <laughs> discord acted like uno reverse card yeah ad went and activated his discord and uh, they ended up voting for ad but guys uh, if you're new here then do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't 110 voted uh, on this useless poll but surely you can then take the <laughs> likes to above 200 <laughs> so bishop a8 <laughs> yeah as long as this point is uh, covered i think uh, and when the black king moves up, the white king will also mirror it. Mm -hmm. Wow, there is some mass banning going on. I think I'll end. I'll end the poll before uh, there is just too much division. We have a clear winner, and uh, I really wish for AD to have his Discord. So. Oh, hold on. Rook, rook a3 now. There is no mm -hmm. check. And rook a2. Oh. Ah, but here I can escape. Yeah. Ah, oh. Still in time. Yeah. Yeah. Now I can escape without the rook on f2. You need to have the rook on f2 and king on g3. Both the conditions have to be met. Both are important. So, yeah, that's the end of that incredible poll. And uh, big congratulations to AD for being uh, voted first in mm -hmm. one more poll. And uh, although KT was voted uh, second, I think uh, Ishan should get the second position uh, due to the vote of the panel and the judges. Unanimous 3 0 vote, which uh, puts him in the sure. second position. True. Sure. I'm, 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 I'm giving, I'm giving both of them my voices, <laughs> my votes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dividing. Live action has progressed a bit, but I think we are just going to come around uh, this in mm. circles, like the solar system. So maybe move back to the RTM obviously so. Which uh, hasn't really uh, seen anything for Artemim. Yeah, Artemim needs to win in this game in order to equalize the first set. Otherwise, he would lose the first set. He can still come back in the set two tomorrow if he wins their uh, four game uh, matchup. But uh, he would really love to try and find a way to hit back here. But so far, Wesley has been very effective at neutralizing Artemim's tries. He didn't face any problem in the earlier black game and, in fact, defeated Artemim. And Right now, I think his position is quite comfortable. 
Yeah, I think I think I have to leave, guys. So I have to go for dinner. So. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, thank you so much, Setu, for joining us. And uh, so, what are what are your plans now? Are you playing any more tournament? Uh, yeah, of course. Out? I'm flying tomorrow to Riga. Oh, awesome! So you're playing in this uh, RTU uh, University Open, yeah? That's the name, right? Yeah, RTU Open. So yeah, so yeah, that's true. Riga awesome. Technical okay. University okay. Tournament. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was, it was so... a pleasure. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Uh, I think yeah. we and discussing chess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you know any more B uh, three bashers who are uh, interested in joining the stream, they all know <laughs> where to join. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so thank you, thank you so much for joining us. All the best okay. for your tournaments, yeah. and uh, look forward to many more chess table courses from you. Thank you, thank you, thanks a lot. Bye. Thank bye. you, thank you. Have a good tournament in in Europe. Thank you. Bye. Well, that was good. That was fun. And I'm sure that you are um it was you you uh, you invited him because you knew what was his idea, right? Tell us the truth. Right? <laughs> you knew it. Well, <laughs> to be honest, I don't really need a lot of effort to recruit the B3 bashers in general, you know. <laughs> and uh... <laughs> yeah wait is this our last game or we're going to have another game um starting aronian and uh liquen lim cuz i'm uh, kind of lost the track of the time so and the i'll games. tell you what the scores are um leslie uh-huh. so is leading artemy by 2-1 and uh, liquen is leading uh, aronian by 2-1 so this is the current situation in uh, both the matches and uh, uh, so yeah artemy has to win and aronian has to win so far artemy doesn't seem to be uh, uh, doing a great job yeah what's what's going on in the chat by the way I don't know. In in every every ten seconds, someone is getting banned. So <laughs> wow. I'm getting confused. The chat has a red text now. Um, it is like a police. You know, it comes in the end of the of the day. More like the 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 guys who are giving the tickets for wrong parking. You know, they are coming time to time, and they are giving you the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't think it's just for wrong parking here, yeah. He's <laughs> acting like that. I don't know if it's the Chess Twenty Four India chat or Eighties Discord chat anymore. But yeah, um, uh, what can be the idea for the next poll? Do you have any ideas, Katie? Yeah, I guess it should be connected to AD, right? It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> I'm not always thinking about AD. Contrary to what uh, people might imagine. Chat, chat is really, uh, really. Um, um how to say when they have a lots of ideas how to say that uh um exactly creative creative yeah 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 creative. Ah, yeah, yeah. Creative. 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 Yeah, yeah. So yeah. They, can, they can come up they with some idea creative. and i will really quickly uh, catch it because probably you will be banned and the del- uh, message will be deleted so uh just drop any questions <laughs> for next fall <laughs> and i'll read really quickly no we can we can still see the messages even if it is uh, banned so um uh, your messages are immortal they might leave the chat but if oh, it's a no awesome can also chat, ban some people yes you can you can okay good ashwin in the chat is asking should i create the complete one a3 chess table course yeah i mean why not now that we have gone to this extent i think any course uh 
any course works direct connection or do you think ad has left the chat no 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 he's still banning people ad Did give you? us some sign that you are here ban somebody time out no somebody. why why would you why would you why would you tempt <laughs> why would you tempt let's be nice to our chat i haven't uh, banned anyone in my life so far i have done i have i have done once uh really mm-hmm. who why is is it someone, someone told know? me that i'm not a nice person and it hurted me a lot i want <laughs> So it was after some conversation and I was it was a bit touchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can totally understand. Uh, streaming is a hard thing and uh, it's very easy to it's very easy to lose. Uh, no, I didn't lose my control. control or something. It was all 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 clear for me. That uh, they deserve to be that. Mm. Mm. No, like I don't think it's it's any damage for the person, but on the other hand, um like th- this is my approach like because um we're sharing way too much in social media every day and so on and some people are just can be rude or some people can go too far. So, um yeah. there are some limits and I know that if something goes wrong and sometimes it can really get ugly, just uh, just block or ban and let's stay over like no more chances. and there's there's never and there's never a day when i re, re uh, when i have a review to unban someone so that's that's forever mhm mhm yeah interesting <laughs> the pull is ended already right so people will not change their mind <laughs> <laughs> uh i don't i don't know but meanwhile i have a question for the chat so i make a random move and here let's say black please night c6 what move would you make uh, for white here chat so finally a chess question after a really long time just to give proof that we still discuss chess on this channel and uh, chat let's go here is your chance to uh, show that you okay probably you, you are awake we know that but show that you are still paying attention to the board Oh wow. This is this is so easy. I didn't even see for like a uh, <laughs> couple of seconds. But what's the logic? I mean, if it's easy, you see it faster, no? No, it's too easy and you cannot see that fast. Right. Is like it easy? 1b3 is refutation. Like going a4. No, a4? a4 is on the move. Bishop page 5. Why a4? A knight a4 maybe. Bishop H5 is not bad, but Ishan Bandekar uh, is with the right move. You just take knight into d5 because the uh, diagonal uh, of this uh, bishop is pinned. So mm-hmm. just take knight into d5, and uh, uh, I think you have a very nice position with white. You just win a pawn, and if black captures back the knight, then white just takes bishop into c8. awesome so we still uh, we still have people watching chess here <laughs> and not just the chat bishop into h5 h5 into h5 h3 king g7 this is the present position um i think it's so loud to get his knight to attack the pawn but uh, the dark square bishop of black is watching the uh, f4 and g3 So, I was thinking about queen f2 queen h4 idea but then knight comes on f5 and stops this right Yep Knight to rook into c1 queen into c1 and uh, now just knight f5 hmm. Yeah, bishop has to come back on f2. Oh, 
hard to hard to find something because uh, white also has a kind of weak sponge structure and not so active pieces. For instance, if knight is only five, that could be better. Uh, but knight has mm -hmm. to be on e2 to guard d4 pawn. And there, there, there is not too much um, weaknesses in black's position. There is only h5 pawn, and it takes some effort for whites to get it. Right. Uh, he tries to get to the h5 pawn uh, with bishop f4. So if black takes, and uh, after bishop f4, knight f4, uh, uh, white takes the h5 pawn. But uh, um, also, white loses a lot of pawns, no? What do you think? Uh, can I take with a queen? Yeah, if you take with the queen, then no, you're not really attacking my h5 pawn. Yeah, and I thought you can, I can just uh, yeah. attack all your weak pawns. Can I, can I do like queen e5 check? Yeah. And, and knight, knight f4. Yeah, knight f4, knight h5, and knight gets on f6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This does not look great. But uh, maybe queen b5 was a careless move. I think mm -hmm. queen d6 should be fine. Yeah. Oh, white captured actually with the knight, and we have queen d4 and knight on h5. Mm -hmm. Now queen c3. No, 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 that wouldn't be good. No, but I, I, I think it's actually white who's playing for draw here because of all these weaknesses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Vasily is happy with a draw because he will end this day in a, as a favor, favorite and then tomorrow he will be another day. Yes, and Wesley has done it. Uh, he has won the first set. You can see the sigh of relief visibly in his face as he gets up and walks out. Artemev, not much reaction, but uh, I think he is tired. He was making a lot of obvious mistakes. So it's going to be difficult for Artemev to try and bounce back and win tomorrow. But uh, you never know. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the fourth game between Lee Kwang against Levon is set to start uh, in about two minutes from now. So this will be the last game of the first day of the semifinal of the Chessable Masters. And uh, right now, Lee Kwang is uh, leading by 2-1. So what do you th guys think? And what do you think, Katie? Can Aronian strike back today? I th um, honestly, I thought that this match was already ended. So if you have one more game to go, I, I think I think it's going to be a bit slow. They will not risk too much. Uh, but on the other hand, for Aronian, if the, 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 the match is already, the first part of the match is already lost, right? Maybe he will put up some fire. Uh, not really. I think he, he can still equalize. Like he's How? down by 2-1. Uh, uh -huh. No, the score is 2-1. So he can, he can still hit back. And we have the poll out on the Chess 24 India uh, chat. So will Aronian strike back today? Yes or no? It's a pretty uh, simple and straightforward poll, but it has stayed at 50%. Is he eating cucumber? Oh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> Chad, what is it? I think it's I thought cucumber. it was lavash. And I'm happy that he doesn't have any, any mic on. <laughs> It'll be really <laughs> noisy. <laughs> You don't like the eating noises, yeah? No. It's, you're no, being scarred like against it noises. by your opponents. No. I like yeah, silence. I mean, you're a quintessential chess player. What's that? Uh, I mean, you're you're like the typical chess player. Ah, yeah. Um, 
Th thank you. <laughs> I'm good. So the typical chess player, uh, they like quiet. They uh, diss on one B three. And I I do what? I dislike. Ah, I dislike. Yeah. Don't you? <laughs> oh no. Um, I I'm tired now and I know that every word that I'm saying will be used against me. So um <laughs> I pass. <laughs> Your armor is on, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's smart. That's smart. Yeah, it's cucumber. I'm sure it's cucumber. Cucumber is a very safe thing to discuss. <laughs> <laughs> that cannot be used against you. <laughs> yeah, it's some sort of snack, right? Right? You can you can eat. It's fresh and also yeah, the last a lot of water. Lavash. Because you know, like um, I don't know about top level. Maybe you 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 guys know it better, you and AD. Like um, I kind of, kind of have a feeling that chess players are not really thinking of their diets, and by the diet I mean not the weight loss diet, but um, something mm -hmm. which helps you to memorize and to have an er energy and so on and so on, like um. This is a very important topic for many sports, many uh, sport people. They are uh, having some diets and they're following it. And I don't so think, I think that chess players... I think chess players also do have their diet. Uh, for example, uh, Vedit became a vegetarian some time ago. So in his uh, earlier years, in his teenage, he used to, he used to love chicken. And uh, he became completely vegetarian some time ago. What's so... wrong with the chicken? Uh, no, he felt that this was uh, better for his chest to become completely vegetarian. If he's, he feels he feels uh, um, he feels more mentally alert with this mm -hmm. diet. Mm -hmm. So I think I think uh, I think they do pay attention. Maybe 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 not uh, the way it's done in uh, some of the other physical sport, but. Uh, I, I think they uh, they pay attention at some level. It's not like they completely ignore it and eat what all they like. It's wrong for the chicken. <laughs> That's a fair point. <laughs> well, um, yeah. I don't know, maybe it's also the culture, you know, like um, you can't find a lot of vegetarians in Georgia. And yes, if you say that I'm now, vegetarian, yes. they were so like, why? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> because yes, like, but it's uh, it's changing now, yes, with more vegans around the world. Yeah, that's true. But it's it's in our culture, and that's that's affordable for 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 these people, right? And to have some some diet, it's quite it's quite hard actually to 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 be vegetarian. You don't like. I don't think it's like it's cheaper i think it's more expensive because you have to get something more and sometimes you even need to eat more to feel uh full and satisfied right yes and... absolutely yeah i think it, it also it also depends on what uh, uh genetics you have and uh, what you're used used to eating when you're uh, in your childhood i think that that also makes uh, it factors a lot in what you're comfortable with eating yeah in general okay how many so, of, of our chat is vegetarian that's an interesting question but yeah i think i think that is the one big change in the world you know when i i traveled about uh, 15 years ago in from 2000 to 2010 a lot of people in the world did not even understand what vegetarian meant mm -hmm. you know for example in Russia to explain to them it was such a painful process but uh, <laughs> uh, 
I, exactly. That's still in my country. It's still like this. You have to explain people. No, but in uh, the Georgian restaurant in Sochi, uh, we were uh, uh, asking for vegetarian meals and they understood it perfectly and explained you every... You veget- visited one of the best restaurants. Like, uh, you cannot go to mm-hmm. one of the, like, five-star restaurants every day, right? Right, right. Uh, it was not... Fi- no, it was it was a normal restaurant. I mean, yeah. There are, like, you know, some some restaurants, they have some... And also, it's just, just, it's just the people, like... Also for, for families, like if I say now that to my family that I'm vegetarian, they will be really confused. Ah, okay. But surely uh, everyone has heard of what is vegan by now, no? It's, it's, a, it's a global revolution, right? I mean, the, uh, what, I, what I noticed in uh, almost every city or country I went to in the last five years, they had at least one vegan restaurant in uh, the city. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, it was everywhere you know vegan uh, I mean there was this uh, I don't know I, I even I even uh, I even saw some vegan ice creams and uh, people were asking like if you want to have ice cream why would you eat a vegan ice cream <laughs> yeah I mean I, I understand I understand <laughs> <laughs> I understand that yeah vegan food but why why vegan ice cream i have vegan uh, coffee ah with uh, soya or almond i'll get one i'll get one i know one. okay are you gonna get one for me too i guess the answer is no for that so sad so sad i wouldn't mind some coffee vegan or decaffeinated or in any form but uh, unfortunately, I cannot go and get it. Sad life, guys. Sad life. But, uh, you know, at least at least for this, please do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And, uh, yeah, G4 was exactly the move that I was thinking about. This traps the knight on uh, H5, but uh, black counterattacks with G5. The bishop on H4 has no space to go. Bishop G3 is met with uh, knight into G3. And G into H4, H5 is met with G into H4. That's the story of my life, huh? Chat. Yeah, Tanmay, that's the story of my life. Why? <laughs> no, I mean, uh, so when, when you're just leaving, uh, I asked if you could make some coffee for me as well. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I did not really heard you because I'm using yeah. headphones and I don't, I don't, I did not heard it. I didn't heard it. Of course, of course. I have a whole whole package here. So it says bag, and I assume that it was vegetarian. Uh, bag. Ah, okay. I don't know. And it says bez uh, na pialu. And I don't know what does it mean. So uh, how do you how do you survive for so many months in Poland without knowing anything in Polish? <laughs> I don't really mind. Like I drink, I like it, then I buy again. So <laughs> No, but I mean, uh, how do you do your uh, regular stuff in Poland? Uh, is uh, it's hard. everyone speaks English? No, no, not even no, no, not not in this city. So how how do you how do you manage communication? I barely do. Ah, you barely communicate, but how, how, how is... I mean, is the... with the people I know and I work, of course, they know English. And um, after just one glass of vodka, they know perfect English. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, um, I don't have much of the contact, like, with, the, with whom I should be contacting. And this neighborhood is pretty much this residence area is pretty much uh, um, with uh, for foreigners. For example, I have Indian neighbors next door. Wow. Um, and yeah, I have a lot of uh, lot of uh, foreigners here. Uh, and in the shops, I learned a couple of sentences so I can buy some stuff. And basically, you can buy it by yourself with the machine. So. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It gets it's getting tricky when I'm visiting doctors. <laughs> but surely doctors should be able to speak English. No? 
Um, I've seen so far only one doctor who was really good at wow. English, and wow. the other doctors, I don't know why I paid extra money for their English. <laughs> they definitely did not <laughs> learn more than fourth grade English. <laughs> So yeah, it's quite tricky. But it's I think it's just fine. Like yeah, it's just fine. Fine. I don't wait, I don't pay too much attention of such things like it's without something, so I really don't care without what it is. Like mm -hmm. <laughs> and I drink it as a least uh, coffee when I don't have others. I <laughs> I drink after that. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Oh, can I play Queen H5 here? It's black to Mugeti. Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah, I think I think you should drink coffee first. <laughs> Queen H5. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Chat. Uh, black to play. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Bishop into H4 and what move would you? Okay, it's not working. It's not working. Yeah, but anyway, what move would you make here? It doesn't mean White has to win. I know Just... you went queen h6, so you wanted to attack the rook and they mm -hmm. threaten the checkmate at the same time. But I think you also need coffee because I can play now rook f7 and save both rook g8. Ah, yeah, I was I was looking at rook g8. Oh, I definitely need coffee. I mean, for sure. But uh, but yeah, I think I think I think I think uh, we should uh, start including that in uh, the. Uh, champion chess tour commentary broadcast in India, part of the contract. Uh, coffee after every Free two coffee. hours. Yeah, Free it always coffee. goes so deep in the night. Yeah, um, this coffee what I have right now is the sponsor of many events, uh, many chess events in Poland. Oh, it used to nice. be even general sponsor of uh, women tournament. So whenever they have a tournament, I uh, like some blitz or rapid tournaments I play. And um, if you get some um, prize, you are getting big, big box of the coffee. But, but what, is, what is vegan coffee? I mean, what is the concept of vegan coffee? I don't understand that. How can, like, how is coffee not vegan in the first place? I mean, I understand don't... if you... You were judging people who don't understand vegan ice cream. I wasn't judging people who don't understand vegan ice cream. I just said... I just described people's reaction to the vegan ice cream. This is what they were telling Same. me. Same. How was it judging them? I was just, I was just repeating. I was just <laughs> quoting them. I'm not judging. I'm not judging the people who eat vegan ice cream, nor am I judging the people who judge people who eat vegan ice cream. All right. All right. I'm just, I'm just an innocent bystander in this. <laughs> um. Uh, do do you want me to read what's uh, what's in, in ingredients or? Yeah, sure. I mean, if it's in, uh, if it's something. It's sugar, coconut oil, coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that part I guessed. Fi finely ground roasted coffee, mm -hmm. coconut milk powder. And some some ah, crazy things I, I understand. understand. I understand. So instead of milk powder, which is uh, not vegan, coconut there, milk powder. Yeah, is used. yeah. There's not milk, milk, and uh, glucose serum for uh, right for the taste. Bishop into H four, and now Queen into H four. Is Aidy still here? Yeah, he's still here. Okay. Aiden never leaves. <laughs> Is that a problem? <laughs> Are you complaining? So let me know. Not for me. <laughs> it does. It does look like you're, you're like. Is Aidy still here? What is he still doing here? No, I was here? happy. I was happy. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Aidy is always here. Uh, the chest 24 India soul contains a part of AD. Okay, that's now now I, I think I really need it's that time of the day when I I have no control over what goes from my brain to my vocal cords. <laughs> okay, just tell me then 
why why white is thinking here and why white is not capturing this uh, he can he can start with queen h6 or he can just take queen in h4 ah, i was so, thinking bishop d3 yes but bishop d3 e4 and uh, something connected with sacrifice but there is queen c7 and this card is h7 square it's it's better to sacrifice your opponent's pieces, Katie. It's better to sacrifice the opponent's pieces. Um, yeah, no, no, no. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. <laughs> it is like, you know, Sri, you can try all you want. I will never hate Katie. True. It's the same but, here, AD. <laughs> But you understand uh, that this also means you can say any story, any photo you want, right? You have like a full pass. Yeah. Yeah. He trusts me. No, he's he's like giving you the pass. Yes, because he trusts me. <laughs> <laughs> I know what he's thinking. I know what he's thinking. Uh, white, um, white plays queen h6 here. Mm -hmm. And if rook d, if rook g, not g8, f7, now, but now bishop d3 makes no sense. Yeah, now it doesn't attack anything. Now it's like the 1b3 move. <laughs> now my point was just to get uh, somehow on g8 score, but it's not easy. No, no. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand the B3 jokes are getting repetitive, but uh, again, I told you, it's that time of the day when I have no control over what passes from my brain to my vocal cords. So <laughs> it's just going to be a repetition of all the earlier things I said and that recycled. No, but sometimes it might, I don't know, I, I really don't know why he doesn't take Queen into H4. Uh, to be honest, that seems like the uh, obvious move to take. And uh, I think the chat is also wondering the same thing ah okay katie i understand hmm. so there's this bishop d3 e4 and now you can just take this and this makes some difference in you see oh. now this opens access to stuff like this oh yeah oh yeah i like that 92 94 but still the bishop so, can come on g5 and then h4 no but i i, I will take this oh you mean like this uh -huh. Because now I just come back and play H4, yeah? Yeah, yeah, this is what you're describing, I understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Oh my God, I just, I just turned into Monica. Oh my God, this is so bad. This is so bad. Wait, not Queen, uh, queen H6, but instead of this, uh, Bishop D3. Can we make that? Yeah. Bishop d3 this e4 is... and now queen h6. So if you kept if you play rook f7, now say queen e4. Oh. Pawn takes and bishop c4. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. And queen b4, I will lose the bishop. Oh yeah, queen b4 and it's over. Yeah, we, we are tired. We are tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just wanted to show the chat some nice tactic. No, we are tired. <laughs> You know, whenever you blender, you always have this defense. We just wanted to show the chat. Yeah, true. I do that all the time. True. And it always works. The chat believes me. Should do that. What? What did he say? I should do that. Ah, uh, I thought true. I thought you were whispering in the chat to not do that. No, no, no. Hmm. And now he captures. Yeah, I, I really didn't see the point of uh, getting this rook to f7. He takes d4 and capture the pawn, right? And then where does the king castle? Your favorite question. The rooks are on the files where pawn should be. <laughs> Which rook is better? Uh, obviously the g rook. <laughs> Obviously, anything in the G file is better than the B file, of course. <laughs> no, um, King will come on D2 because there is no check. It's perfectly placed in the center. 
Yeah, and then bishop d3. Like this, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and a reminder to the chat that oh. Lee Kuang only requires a draw in this game. Yes, and there's a thread, there's a huge thread, and chat can find this. Chat can find wow. this. Why is treating something huge? Wow, from not answering the question to asking the question, you have improved so much, Katie. I know. I'm impressed. Thank you. So, what if black makes here some nonsense and then white is threatening something really strong? Yeah, I think I think we should uh, clip this part where you ask the question and merge it with the part where you went. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and <laughs> we make a part two of the reel. I think that would be awesome. <laughs> Guys, uh, and who's watching? Any any of the clippers? I'm learning fast. I'm learning fast. It's like so much content uh, from one idea. Rook G1, but Rook is already on G1. There's bishop B, bishop H7. Yeah, push. <laughs> Katie's facial Greek gift. <laughs> Sorry? Katie's facial Greek gift. Greek gift. Ishan goes rook G6. Rook G6. But no, this is not a drama queen, Ishan. Yeah, rook G6. Rook G6 is also nice. F6 pawn is hanging. Bishop G6 yeah. also is nice. <laughs> Yes, but I did not see Bishop at in the first place. I thought oh, what Bishop did you G6. see? Bishop G6? Um, yeah. But I think Bishop at is just the strongest. Yeah, it, it goes for mate directly. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. This is white to play. So you make a random move and Bishop at and GG. Rook into at Queen F6. Rook G7, Queen G7. And uh, otherwise, we just give this discard mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It comes with night before. What do you think about this night? Uh, the night on before. Mm -hmm. I I think uh, black really needs to get some counterplay on this diagonal, yeah, because otherwise. Uh, we saw the effects of bishop d3, bishop at that sun. So knight b4 is really required to complement this bishop on f5. And uh, uh, the knight on b4, it's actually uh, on a short stay visa because after a3, it has to move to a different place. But uh, while it's there, I think it can still make... Uh, where... Oh, this runs into queen h5. Ah, so I think I think it's, uh, it's going to be there for a really short time. Knight b4, king d2. And mm -hmm. uh, maybe e d4, e d4, and now bishop f5. So now after queen h5, there's queen d4. So this mm -hmm. is the black's idea. But is it if uh, it takes, um, can I play something else? Like, uh, for instance, I don't know. My, my, point is, my point is that to play something useful, because if you take my knight, then I will take it with a b pawn, and the knight will be pinned. Ah, Can I be that smart? Clever. That's so incredibly clever. Wow. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what's the what's the move. To be honest. Chat, uh, do you find any useful moves for white here? Maybe A3? A3. A3 makes a lot of sense. So D into C3, B into C3. Maybe this is what Aronian is thinking about, yeah? And uh, now Bishop F5. Oh, can I, can I take it with um, 
actually you don't even yeah you can you can take it i was thinking but to take it with a request rookies on open p file but queens is seven i'm not really getting too much of it rook f4 okay if you say so <laughs> yeah He goes c5. What is this move c5? He wants to, yeah, he wants to open up a bit of the center. So the king on d2 will be just uh, at the wrong place. And on the yeah. other hand, he wants to centralize the knight, like to, just to have a square on c6. But for the moment, the d5 pawn is hanging. Um, and I don't think that Black is going to capture that. How about a3 here again? Knight. Uh... Ah, no. Then the d5. Yeah, d5 pawn. knight is a pawn is hanging with a threat on b6. Yeah. I And now it is in the game. Play. It is in the game. Oh wow! You continue with queen d8, yeah. And bishop c4. Bishop uh, e6. Knight f4. Yeah, now now I'm in uh, complete blitz mode, you know. And now knight into f6 is a big threat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this seems to be uh, seems to be crushing. Oh, he just went bishop d3, and oh, uh, wow. the idea is bishop. And, oh, Chad already knows the idea. We already asked mm -hmm. this. Yeah. So. Here, even the chat can uh, defeat Aronian if he does not defend this. Yeah. <laughs> Bishop h7. Yeah, if, if white managed to, to get this h7 pawn, I'm sure like everyone from, from us, from, from chat, including myself, can defeat Aronian. <laughs> yes, I don't think you have to specifically include yourself there. <laughs> And there is a checkmate in one move. After bishop takes h7, there is a bishop g8 checkmate. So. Yeah, let's show that. Well, I don't just think. It's actually checkmate in two. Yeah. Yeah, so bishop d3. Um, it actually looks like it's game over. Yeah, if uh, e4, if a black tries to um, block this diagonal, then now knight comes on d5 and then bishop can capture d4 pawn. Yeah. yeah. With the same idea. Oh, no, not the same idea because now queen comes on d8. Uh, can he capture pawn on d5? Oh, yeah, I think he can. He can. Because queen takes d5, there's bishop yeah. in h7, yeah? Yeah. I don't see why not. I guess black has to do something like bishop e6 now. Yeah, but knight into d5 is certainly an option. It all comes down to this idea. Lee Kwang looking really relaxed now, by the way. But I think the position. It's still it's still complex. There is still game on. But that. I'm amazed at the level at which Lee Kwang has played uh, both the quarterfinals as well as the semis. We did not. How is the poll doing, by the way? There's no poll. Oh no, there is a poll. Will Aronian strike back today? Ninety-eight mm -hmm. votes, sixty-eight percent for Aronian.
Yeah, I think I echo what Pushkar says. Liam is better here, but still anything can happen. It's it's a Thursday after all. It was a Thursday. It's still a Thursday in Europe. Yeah. It is. It's 9 p.m. Yep. So anything can happen Thursday. For you it's not anymore, right? No, for me it's not. Mm-hmm. Sometime sometime ago the chat was celebrating Happy Friday. <laughs> Yeah. Crazy, crazy chat. That's weird. So it means, where is Iranian? Is he in Germany? Um, Or he went to USA already? I don't think he's gone. I I have no idea, actually. Can we figure it out? Oh, no. His background is the same as his opponent. Maybe they're both... No, you can't make Armenia. it out from his background. Yeah, I know that uh, he's often um, staying in Germany. Mm, I, I think he has a place to stay there, uh, and it's quite comfortable to to be you know in Europe, so you don't have to f- take uh, two or three flights to get at the chest or no. Absolutely, more. absolutely, it makes a huge difference. You know, uh, for us to travel back from Sochi to India, it mm. was, uh, I think it was like 40 hours. Mm. And for Hare Krishna, I think it's like uh, 10 hours. Yeah. True. Aronian does not seem too enthusiastic. Yeah. I think he is also a bit low energy, whereas Lee Kwang seems fully motivated and uh, focused. Yeah, he looks like a like a like a robot, like just having no emotions, feeling not really tired, not even moving. Yeah, I think when things are so going cool. good, uh, you feel a lot less fidgety. Yeah, Chat is saying he's Aronin still in Armenia. Some- back uh, back problems because he's doing some strategies time to time and he's also ah. his chair is uh, is um i think it's special for his back as you know for chess players uh, the back is um spin is quite a problem i would actually yeah i, I would have thought the, the top chess players would have a really strong core i thought they would uh, work on it uh, because it's such an important part But I guess apparently not. Rook D1 is nice, yeah. Rook goes from B1 to D1, of course. And uh, then the king comes to C1. And uh, this would be such a perfect position for white. His king is safe on the queen side. And on the king side, the queen and the rook are uh, totally against, uh, aimed against the black king, the exposed black king. So it's uh, pretty much over, no? I like this move. Yeah, me too. Long castle. <laughs> It's called artificial chasm. Yeah. And uh, when uh, back in the times when me and my brother were learning chess, my brother used to love artificially castling. He used to think uh, that he was doing something special. And he was uh, losing about like three three times his rides. <laughs> minimum <laughs> <laughs> no i mean only only when the situation demanded he was actually a, a pretty decent chess player and mm. uh, quite good at uh, learning uh, games and sport in general but he started out a bit too late so mm. he could never really have a career on chess but uh, i think on i think which age? uh i think he started uh, when he was like 11 or 12 mm. and uh, that's just too late in india if you want to be competitive mm. but i'm pretty sure he's stronger than all these uh, comedians and you know these uh, guys mm. who play on mm-hmm. streams uh-huh. yeah my brother used to also play we started together um and he was really good we were playing chess tournaments together uh but then my parents decided to um to uh bring him at different sports rather rather than chess because he was very sensitive and he when he was losing the games he was feeling um very sad we all do no 
I think I don't really felt so sad. <laughs> and, like you feel sad, but then you sometimes you would just show it's too much of emotions, right? And your parents don't want to, um, you know, feel bad. kill your nerves for for something at very early age, and they want you to be happy, kid. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's very sensitive in in general. But, yeah so i mean no not all parents but yeah um a lot of parents i mean not all parents uh, uh focus the happiness you know in uh, out in a lot of cultures it's a lot about uh, uh, getting the kids successful or mm. putting them in professions where they can earn the most mm. yeah the chat is surprised that aronian is getting uh, beaten so much but okay i mean that's uh, now you know another very strong chess player chat lee yeah. kwang lee from vietnam the head coach of the webster university team which is probably the strongest university team in the world yeah um there is something that um in chess it's happening and we don't know much about it like um aronian has a huge support for his uh, country uh, and when you do have huge support and he's uh, he's a person like everybody knows in his country i'm not sure if uh, uh le quen lem is that much popular in vietnam so it's oh, kind of no, yes yeah maybe maybe not as much as aronian or uh, vishi but uh, aronian just tweeted today about this about how you know when so aronian great. went to vietnam once Mm-hmm. and uh, he uh, he was talking to some uh uh players uh, i mean uh, whenever people in vietnam heard that uh, aronian was a chess player they asked him if he knew who lee kuang lim was because mm-hmm. he was their best chess player mm-hmm. that's cool that's cool so yeah i mean we have vishi in india who's like an absolute legend mm-hmm. and everyone knows him and uh what yeah, Ronin is oh just... he finally played bishop e4 oh it's that knight d4 just it's like that uh, it's like it's like there's a missile heading towards you and it's like that thing which stops it shield yeah a shield shield <laughs> it was close <laughs> very close <laughs> Oh, bishop h1. I don't like that move. But on the other hand, bishop has nowhere else to go. And now the knight no, is hanging and also it. the pawn is hanging on d5. So yeah, maybe yeah, it's yeah. not so it's bad. It's a safe move. Yeah. And uh, if he goes rook b7, then uh, what is the problem with this move chat? Are you guys still alive? Yeah, uh, sorry. Awake, awake. I meant awake. I'm sorry. Are you guys still awake? <laughs> No, the but they have a good question is the bar still working because it's like really no, no, not it's frozen moving. it's frozen it's frozen for some time but uh, since the game is so close to ending uh we didn't really change it but yeah why to play i mean uh i shouldn't be the one asking chat if they're awake i think they should be the one asking me <laughs> but uh, how does white win here why is rook b7 bad <laughs> center society band everyone <laughs> they are afraid to talk they think the lady is still here <laughs> or oh, rook b7 really can i capture this knight oh we have to refresh it actually there are a few moves oh yeah 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 but this was with rook b7 rook b8 mm-hmm. was the one played in the game but the point is here there is a knight into d5 yeah f6 is no longer predicted so this is what i wanted to ask the chat and uh, this is the reason why he went rook b8 instead of rook b7 so white had to go knight e2 queen b6 and now b4 and i think at some point uh, yeah queen a6 rook d3 and uh, sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's um i'm not sure i mean aronian made such a friendly tweet before uh, today's game Do you think that's a common thing in other sport to be so friendly to your opponents? Um uh, 
In, in football, when there is um, this awarding ceremony of best football player, I think they are showing too much of, uh, you know, respect to each other. Yes, and... but before the game. Before the game, maybe maybe it exists in you know, some tennis events. I think yes. I think yes. And on the other hand, like nowadays, these top guys are trying to uh, be really um, active in social media. And earlier, I think I'm, I'm sure that they were not even uh, connecting with social media. For example, one our our beast, I know that he's not uh, he's when he's playing chess, he's not um, spending too much of time in social media like he's cutting it off. So, um, yeah, he's in a, he's zoned out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you text him, and if you don't know that uh, he's playing tournament, he will rep- or he replies you in ten days after. And like what? Yeah. <laughs> like what? What? I you? don't even remember what. <laughs> like there were some days, but I wrote him something. You replied to me ten days after. It's like what? What do you want? So, uh, but nowadays I think they are trying to be more social active, mm-hmm. and they see that they are getting a lot of benefits out of their funds. They're getting a lot of support, and this is huge in sport. Yeah. Yeah, for example, I just saw the tweet that Karekin, right after the match, in like half an hour, he made a tweet, and he congratulated his opponent. So this is, this is something that we could not see before the pandemic, I guess. And now it's quite common. True, true, true. Uh, are we seeing some counterplay here or is it just white winning smooth? The course of a tournament victory never runs smooth is a popular proverb, but uh, maybe uh, maybe Lee Kwang uh, will prove us wrong here. <laughs> yeah um yeah for for the balance yeah for the balance and to keep the things sharp there there are need of some 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 tweets yeah <laughs> for the balance of what like you cannot be too kind you cannot be too positive <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to play King F4 it's, or it's too much? Oh my God, wow. he's going for King F4? No way. But after Queen D6, he has to come back on E3. Yeah, but that's going to be a draw. So Aronian does not want it. And uh, goes oh. Queen B2. I thought it was White who was playing for a win. No. I mean, it is Aronian who has to try and win. Yeah, For White, it's draw is good. But still, still, they're both down to less than a minute. Anything can happen here. And uh, how, how, can, how can Black try and uh, create something here? The irony is fully focused. He's calculating uh, a lot of <laughs> a lot of uh, moves per second. Mm-hmm. How many uh, KN per second do you think? A lot. I think for humans, it's something like uh, ten is a big number. For a second. Yeah. Oh my god! I wish I'd do it in. <laughs> One in a second. <laughs> yeah, now it's over. Rook D check is coming and he has to resign. Finally, finally, finally. Finally, Lee Kwang takes the first set with a score of 3-1. Or maybe it's two and a half. Not so early. One and a half. But still, so Rook, Rook D8 is... and Queen G8 is... Um... Yeah, this yeah. is checkmate. It's beautiful. And uh, rook d8 if there's queen before check, knight d4. 
Right. Rotate on the board. Maybe we will say this queen sacrifice. Queen before, queen knight d4. Yeah, I know. I think resign. They see it. They see it. We want to have it on the board. Okay, good. Oh, he allows it. He allows it on purpose. He's such oh, a good nice. sport, Aronia. Yeah. Yeah. It's very what a clean. nice guy. Yeah. And finally, some expression on Lee Kwang's face. Or no. No. Maybe after he goes off camera. We see a hazy image of him, a corporeal image of him. What? Uh, you you can still see him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm just checking if there's any uh, reaction at all, expression. But no, 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 no. Is there no expression, or I'm just not able to see it? No, he's just uh, professional. It's like okay, job done today, but still some things tomorrow, <laughs> and. Uh, okay. We'll yeah. see tomorrow. He was checking second camera. They have two cameras, right? I think he was just, uh, uh, just checking second camera and now he's going to turn the off, turn off the uh, cameras and uh, Aronian is looking like he's frozen already. Yeah, Aronian is in that uh, zone where he's accepted the defeat, uh, Buddha style, and uh, decided not to react to it. Right. All right, so that brings uh, the conclusion of a very interesting day, the first day of the semifinal of the Chessable Masters. The conclusion for day one, set one, uh, Lee Kuang Liem, the finest player ever, finest chess player ever from the country of Vietnam, uh, defeated the, the finest player ever from the country. Of, oh, no, wait, I won't say that. That was Tigran Petrosian. So Armenia's number one, Levon Oronian, <laughs> 3-1. And uh, Wesley So defeated uh, uh, Vladislav Artemiev two and a half, one and a half. And both the matches were pretty smooth, where the players who won dominated from the start to the finish and uh, played better chess overall. Thank you so much, Katie, for joining me today. And thank you so much, as always, the lovely chat. Do like the stream and subscribe uh, to the channel before uh, we conclude it. And thank you so much. See you all tomorrow, 8.20. All right. We, we are ending or I can say no. something too. You can, you can, you can. Yeah, <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> that was the end. So, so um, thank you very much, Sri. It was such a lovely uh, here because otherwise it's it's hard. It's it's long time of um, work. And, but in a good company, it always goes smoothly. And thanks to the chat uh, to be for for so long with us and uh, in 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 most of the countries it's quite late but they are still here uh, and uh, there is there is one one guy from my chat so special <laughs> thanks to you to Santa uh, and uh, yeah I, thank you for everyone for being here and make sure that you come tomorrow because tomorrow will be even fun more fun day and um, we're gonna know the four the finalists yep yeah. See you tomorrow.